We might have Robert joining us today, I'm not sure. I sent him a message literally at like 1.56, so I'm going to give him some time before I start ragging on him. But we're going to play Dead Cells, and then we're going to play Ultimate Chicken Horse, and then we're going to play some golf. I tweeted golf with your friends, but we'll figure it out, you know. I think golf with your friends is a new course or something, so okay. if that's the case, you know, Snakes. dive into that. Snakes that big old hairy snatch. <laughs> Stop. What? <laughs> I don't... <laughs> Okay, here's a good uh, expression to start this with. I'm going to start a run, by the way. Yeah, same. Okay. This game is a masterpiece, by the way, and you should all buy it immediately. Yeah, it and is fuck really good. you if you think good. anything else. Okay, well, I don't know if I'd go that far, but... Have we hit Backlash on this yet? Uh, that's tomorrow. That's tomorrow, okay. Because yeah. it has been, no, like, almost a week. <laughs> I, I will say, like, without being incredibly insulting to another game... Especially because it's made by Canadian developers. Um, it's really hard to go back to recording Flint Hook when you have. Oh, I some... thought you meant Octodad. <laughs> no, dude, I, I got nothing wrong with, with Octodad, but. Well, Austin's backlashed against it, but also that's because um, he doesn't like playing roguelites in early access, which I disagree with in this case, but I understand his, uh, his methodology, I, I suppose. I actually agree with that as well. And I thought I was going to spoil my fun, but there's enough meat to these bones uh, that I'm deep, deep oh, diving. Geez. I these bones, they don't know. I saw, I, I tuned into your stream for a little bit today. Uh, was I on the oh, toilet? You sneaky lurker. Maybe I was on the toilet, maybe He's I wasn't. Sneaky. Um, and I saw you were on a 28 minute run. And then the first comment I saw was, is Nick really good or is NL just bad? And I was <laughs> I like. I saw that comment too. <laughs> I was like, you know what? Uh, you might just be like way better at the game than me, and I'm I may genuinely be bad, but like, you were crushing it. My I longest run is like splitting the difference somewhere in there. I don't know. Who cares? My longest uh, run is like eight minutes. I am the best at this in the entire world, though, so that is true. I believe that. <laughs> it's it hits all of the high notes that I like in a game. I mean, it's it's right in there. It's got I really figured... nice feeling movement. I like the artistry of it. I like the randomness of it. It's got enough diversity in it. The combat feels good. What what more do you want? Your I've dude also has an eye that's a light. I've also noticed that you are a uh, a door smasher instead of a door opener. And you yeah. know, I'll let you guess how I feel about that, but I don't I... have I don't have respect for it. Is <laughs> you don't really have to let me guess. <laughs> So How come I, when you use your electric whip in the water, it doesn't electrocute you to death? Because mm, that's actually more realism that I'd love to see. Not really at all. But I can't believe I touched that. It is going to be a, it's going to be an uphill battle to give commentary and banter over this while we play because yeah. it is a little. Uh, I've know, gotten hit like six times already, and same. I shouldn't be taking any damage in the first area. All right. Well, you know, that's what's gotten me in trouble in Isaac lately. I think I've lost my ability to play that game due to over overconfidence. Not mm, overconfident. That's a, it's an insidious killer, exactly. I've heard. Exactly. Oh, Slow the, and insidious. The electric whip in water thing is going to be added in the next update. Oh, damn. I didn't actually want that. <laughs> I was joking, but great. <laughs> oh, I was. I thought I had a great idea. I was like, I'm just going to play Dead Cells, but not ever spend any of my cells because I don't want to mess up my YouTube series, but the dude won't let you go. Yeah. Until you spend There's your cells. Separate save slots, aren't there? There are, but I didn't want to do the tutorial again. So I'm just going to, like, invest oh. in things that I probably will not be able to afford over the show. And I think that's the best of all worlds. I can't remember a tutorial. Did I just go through that so fast I didn't notice it? All right. Well, easy there. <laughs> oh, you can smash the door instead. Okay. Oh. What's your well, least favorite... You. Uh, what's your least favorite slang word for the vagina, Nick? Oh. I got to um, be honest. You said snatch earlier, and... It's not a high one on my list. I don't I don't like that one. Cuz it it implies I, that it's it's stealing something from you. It is. Like it's, it's stealing it's, your semen. Yeah, it's, it's sperm jacking you, which I mean, we all know that's what <laughs> they're in it for. Is the point of it. Yeah. It's one of the points of it. I don't like calling it it. I, I'm just going to stop talking. Right, yeah. <laughs> Snatch is pretty bad. Yeah. I like muff a lot. I feel like we don't say that enough anymore. I feel like there's not enough good words, like slang words. Oh, I made it through one of the timed doors for oh, the first time ever. I've never seen what's on the other side of those yet. I made it here. I had 11 seconds to spare. 
and it's got the quick bow for the first time, and it's pretty good. Like, there's not enough good words for... I don't like clam. I think that one's pretty awful. That one is... It has so many bad connotations. Does it have the appearance of a clam? Perhaps it, it shares some similarities. And I'm calling it it again, because it's the best option, apparently, but... The... You know... You don't want to call the connotation of the odorous element of a yeah, clam. You don't that's want to that's, smell that's like the problem. Fries. That's no good. That's like all of the female slang words for the vagina are the equivalent of like us calling our dicks sausages. Like it's just silly and named after food or gross. Uh huh. It's like the the we haven't progressed past like the wiener age. Of what female genital slang. Age, well, that's what I'm thinking. You know, you call it like, oh, he's got a nice Oscar Mayer between his legs or something like that, you know? How do you get to that position in a conversation that that ever needs to be said? It comes up. <laughs> now, yeah, now. it certainly does. <laughs> I'm oh, fine with my dick being called a sausage. Dude, if you were in the heat of the moment and your consensual sex partner said, put your sausage in me, I would be like... Is she okay? It'd be a little disconcerting. Thank you. I'm glad you've been backed up here. Help. I don't think it would be like a deal breaker or anything, but well, it would be a little disconcerting. Not, you know, if you're in the moment, you'd probably let it go and then, you know, we'd talk about it on the show later. Oh, baby, slam your sausage into my quivering clam. Put the sausage into the sausage wallet. See, I don't like that very much either. Yeah, meat wallet, not a huge fan <laughs> of that one. Is it a wallet made of meat, or is it a wall? Oh god, what have I done? <laughs> I, I accidentally <laughs> equipped two shields. Oh, you're gonna have a weird run. Is it, is it a wallet made of meat, or a wallet that holds meat inside of it? It's both. Okay, yeah, that makes sense, actually. Why can't it be good, both? Good answer, can, good answer. Like a steak wallet holds bacon. Who cares? Hit me. You ever get this shield? I guess they have like randomized loot effects to some extent, but you ever get this shield that uh, heals you when you parry? No, I don't use shields. Wow. All right. Well, we gotta... uh, I do whip and knife combo forever. That's I cannot I uh, start with the whip yet. I have not unlocked it. I guess I got lucky. I got it pretty early. Unless, wait, is it a blueprint or do you just get it? It might be a blueprint because I've like. I've seen it on runs, but I've never had the opportunity to start with it. I got a lightning bolt fairly recently as well. I haven't tried it in combat. The whip and knife is just too perfect. Shields are complete garbage. Oh, okay, well. Yeah, they really are bad. I don't know what the point of them good is. Good to know. I mean, maybe it's just because my timing is not as good as it needs to be, and I haven't taken advantage of it, but I feel like just kill everything before they get close. What's What about, what's your favorite, like, uh, utility item, like skill. Uh, the left trigger, right trigger ones. Yeah. I really like the frozen uh, grenade. Acceptable. I mean, I don't know why I'm acting like I'm the arbiter of this, considering. Oh, oh sorry. Throwing knife two, ammo three, or health one. I'll take the ammo. They're out of shield range. They're out of shield range. That is right. I will tell you this though: if you bring the throwing knives into a boss fight. That's pretty much been my downfall every time. Uh, you run out of ammo because you don't have new enemies to attack, and then oh, you just yeah. only have your other weapon. I, I have had that happen once, actually, but I, I think I had the mechanic wrong. I thought it was like if you ever run out of ammo completely, you lose all ammo forever. But if no. you never run out, then it recharges. But I, I believe from what you're suggesting, it, it seems just like I was... Per encounter. Like, you get the knives back from the body after they die, but they have to die to get the knives back, so you just run out of possible throwing options. I've made a terrible mistake. Okay, go, go, go. We can do this, we can do this. You can spam two shields and it's actually metal. I'm, cool. I mean, I'm for that. I saw it in Dark Souls when they would do that. It was badass as hell. You'd be a living wall at yeah, that point. Yeah, Grabzula did it. And then they even, like, made it crazier in, I think it was Dark Souls 2, you get, like, the full body shields, and you just become an actual wall. Which, you know, I'd be down to be a wall a for a while. wall, yeah. Yeah. Better than a meat wallet, anyway. Agreed. Oops. The wall, Oops. the wall, the wall. 
done it, he has. I don't know. What is this? I feel like <laughs> I should know. About a rune, man. I should know if this is a Game of Thrones thing here. Well, it's telling you about a rune. I don't think they are. I think it's because you said wall, and then there's some kind of there's like a Dark Souls subculture thing I've missed out on because I played the game too early. Just in case they are telling you about a rune, shouldn't you? Look? I looked for runes. <laughs> okay. And they were not there, but I could be a mistake. I miss Grobzula. The gyms. I, I we played all do, the, man. I played Mario Kart with him like the other day. So you don't miss him anymore. Well, I mean, I, I honestly, if I'm being straight up with you, I kicked his ass. So oh, okay. You know, honestly, he should be the one who's missing, you know, some dignity after that performance. But you think he's into getting his ass kicked? I mean, based on the double shield build he ran in Dark Souls, there's a chance. I think that that could be the case. I feel like it's the opposite. Somebody that takes a double shield build is so scared of getting their ass kicked, they go full mm, defense. You may be right. You may be right. It's like a low T solution. Sorry, Grobzula. I just have to rip you apart because, I don't know, shield, I guess. It's nothing you did. It's nothing personal. How much do you heal on this one? You heal like three every time? Hey, come back here so I can smack you and get some HP back because it's Bloodborne and I didn't realize until recently. I'm not sure I understand the question. What did I say? Oh, <laughs> sorry. I, I have that shield that heals you when you, uh, when you oh, parry. Yeah, I don't know what to do with that. I think it only heals you for like three, though. So it's not particularly strong. I had another topic of conversation, and this one actually has an objective right answer. And I Is mean, it like. Sandwiches? No, it's uh, it's not about turkey sandwiches. I want to know. It's been on my mind for a while. We talked about it in the Skype group today. Why does coffee make you poop so much? What I mean, you, and don't just answer. It's a diuretic. That's like half marks, okay? Or it's a laxative or whatever. You gotta give me like the specific, like chemical reasoning, chat, for why. Coffee makes you poop. I oh, need you're to asking know. chat. Okay, because I don't know. Well, that's I, I want chat to give us an answer, and then we can talk about it. Can their answer be wrong, whatever it is? I would prefer if it weren't, but I also accept that as oh, I just assume we'd know better. <laughs> <laughs> it's a bowel irritant. Oh, so the coffee is like, hey, hey, intestines, you know there's like a whole bunch of shit in there, right? <laughs> Get rid of that. Get it out of there. What are you doing? Get it out of there. <laughs> what are you, stupid? Why do you still have that in there? It may be a myth. I'm going to tell you oh. straight up. It's not, it's a, not myth. a myth. Not a myth. Don't stand in there and heal. That was the dumbest shit I've ever done. It is 100% not a myth. Myth busted. In fact, if you don't think that it does that, have you not had coffee? It makes your muscles tighten up. This makes you shit feel like there is more than there really is, so you have to go. Oh. Okay, it tightens up the muscles, makes you feel like there's more shit than you actually have. So it's like a phantom shit scenario. Perhaps, perhaps. It's like a little ghost tickle in the inside of your lower intestine. If I take a poop and I have a coffee, I will have to poop again. Oh no, that doesn't work that way for me. You're like, yours just gets whatever's in there out. Yeah, I'm done for the day, uh, regardless. Although I haven't tried going like full on coffee cleanse. Mm. Maybe you had like three or four cups. I almost said glasses of coffee. <laughs> I have had coffee in a glass before. It's a rare pleasure, I'm sure. You have it at a coffee house in, like, Sweden, maybe? Exactly. I it was, I believe, a European thing. <laughs> yeah, that's right. I know what's up with those guys. They don't that's respect right. mugs. Their shoes are made out of wood. What's up with that? I just got the Assassin's Dagger, and it throws grenades every time I throw. That or every time I slash. pretty swell. You know what this game really reminds me of? As long as I'm insulting other developers, like, nonstop. Risk of Rain. Yes! That is yeah, actually it's, exactly it's the icons. It. <laughs> the icons look just like Risk of Rain. I said that, actually, on my stream, too. That's, that's great convergent evolution from us there. Because I was thinking, like, this is Risk of Rain, but, like, I like it a lot. A lot better. Yeah, like, Sorry. Risk of Rain, like, <laughs> thought it was fine. 
But this is like really, really good risk of rain. And it's got a little bit of that Castlevania, like Aria of Sorrow vibe too, which I quite know how they did that, but it just feels it to me. Totally different style. It's like a totally different everything yet still. Did you see the new Risk of Rain? No. They're making another one. This one is three dimensional. No. For real. It's got enough dimensions as is. Now it's got a, an extra dimension thrown in. Technically oh, four God. dimension because time, but. Yeah, we never talk about time as a dimension, but it's always there. Sometimes I think about that. I'm like, you know, what if it were? Think about time? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Baby, when I think about you, think about time. Think about I think about how if we were doing what we're doing right now, a hundred years ago, we would be sitting in a room staring at a wall for like eight or ten hours a day. Yeah. Just wiggling our fingers all around. That's true. And that part would be real weird. Just imagine the keyboard not being there and the mimicry of the keyboard being there. It's like Ghost in the Shell, right? It would be some weird stuff like... I think even if you took people from like, ah, oh god, even if you took people from like 40 years ago and you're like, hey, the rest of your like life, you're gonna be sitting at this thing right here, banging in on this keyboard. They'd be like, that doesn't make any sense. I'm an accountant. How am I supposed to do that without a calculator? And you'd be like, well. They well, have a typewriter at least. Maybe. Right, like they would understand what a, an analog oh, to a typewriter might be. I would hope. I'm so. talking about if you don't even have the typewriter, although they had that a while before, a hundred years ago. Nick, Bank. were you of the yeah. age that you used the typewriter? Oh, I've used one, yeah. I have also used the typewriter. Doesn't mean I liked it, but I did it. I actually, there was a contest in my local newspaper when I was a kid to write a like 100 word essay real like and this is not a twitch meme this is like an actual 100 word essay uh, <laughs> that's so short and if you won you got a prize pack that allowed you to take you and five of your friends to see airbud 2 world pup that's amazing and i wrote You'd be a hero <laughs> i wrote <laughs> my uh my entry for that on a typewriter i did not win though which was a bomber for me. It's a great life experience. It led you to telling the story. Exactly. Um, which, honestly, if you just crunch the numbers, is probably worth more than the like the movie would have been. Especially because, you know, I, I never really hear that much about Airbud 2 World Pup these days. I'm not sure if it really brought the heat. No, that's just in your circles. You don't run in like the Airbud circles like they do. Absolutely true. Defense breached! Let's go. Oh, look, a new whip. You know just what I like. But to this day, I have never, uh... I've never seen that movie. Oh, that's just sad. There's I, still a time. I mean, you're not dead yet. Honestly, they haven't earned it, is the thing. <laughs> what if they send you the pass now? I would I would watch it now. Yeah, that's right. They got you. I'd bring you guys. We could watch Airbud 2 World Pup. It's pro that strikes me as one of those movies that's about 65 minutes long, but... That's okay. I mean, I'm sure there's a deep and engrossing story about Airbud to be told. Oh, I, I don't want to... Do you have to fight the elite enemies? I, I don't know. I found like a little <laughs> piece of the... I've tried and failed several times. They're quite hard. A little piece of the aggro crag here. I'm do fighting you have mushrooms to fight that really rather not deal with me. Yeah, I don't like those guys either. Okay. You get two, two souls out of them, though, which is pretty nice. Mm. Two um, cells. Thank you. You don't have to, but you have to. That's kind oh, of what I was asking. Oh, my fun factory just got destroyed. <laughs> 41 cells down the drain. Dude, I think this is the longest run I've ever had. Does your ooze chunk get bigger between runs? Because I feel like it's gotten oh, bigger. Oh, you're, I see. Took me a second to figure out what you meant. The bit that crawls out of the sewer yeah. after you die. Happens to the best feels, of us. Don't much poison to me. me. I'm immune to poison anyway, you scumbag. Get out of here. Get out of here. Come chase me. Come chase me. 
So if chat earns it, I do have a new Dan Giesling voicemail oh, for dude. us today. They have to earn it though. I'm not giving it away for free. The last one made the subreddit beautiful for like maybe a week and a half. So this one's long. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> he's a wild man. How do I earn it? You have to figure out how to earn it. I'm not telling you. Yeah. And it's make me win at this game. It's emerging gameplay. If you get to use the Twitch password that gives me extra HP, that's now's the time. What if they use their uh, Twitch Prime subscriptions? That's certainly not gonna hurt. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's done it. Yeah, Dan Giesling ARG. So Dan's got my back in every way. Have you seen bosses in this game? Yeah. I almost beat a couple of them. Dang. Uh, yeah, Dan G, absolutely right. There was a guy on the Black Bridge. He was uh, he's an interesting guy. He like had a fox head, maybe? Oh, okay. I don't know. And uh, Austin he says he won't like this game. Me? No, Austin oh. says he won't like this game. You see, cause That's of stupid. The... Oh! He said he wouldn't like Dark Souls. So I don't Did he actually he say says. that? Yeah, he resisted playing it for like two years. Because I'm like on that guy's side most of the time, but that's pretty ridiculous. I don't even get where he was coming from. I think it was like, I really like Twilight Princess, so nothing can top that. <laughs> that does sound like Austin. He's always talking about Twilight Princess. He used to speedrun it, if I remember correctly. He's like, oh, I, I love do, Battle... I <laughs> <laughs> Love player unknowns battlegrounds. Would it be like a little better if it were Twilight Princess? I would say it would probably count as the reverse as well. Oh, Scooter it. rule and a little coyote. Thank you for using your Twitch Prime subscriptions here. Let's get some balloons in chat. I don't know what I'm doing on this run. Actually, just kill me. I want to start over. I've done that once or twice. I went straight to the sewers as if I had an idea in my head. I didn't have any of those. How does the progression work for that? Like. You There's two different paths vine. you can take from the first yeah. way. Well, I'm not entirely clear on it myself. I'm still figuring it out. But what I've figured out is that the first thing you get as a permanent unlock is the vine. Yes. And then all those little snot balls allow you to go upstairs. Correct. You take a snot ball upstairs, you go to the ramparts, or you go to the funky sewer. Uh, I recommend the ramparts. Slightly easier, a lot prettier. I agree with that. I don't like you sewers. You get to the end of the ramparts, you go fight the foxhead demon at the end of the dark bridge. I have never been there. I have and always I assume, gone to the sewers, like, in the ramparts. Right. I assume when you beat the foxhead demon, he's going to give you the ability to rub mummies. Yes. Okay, I understand. And once you can rub the mummies, you use the friction to teleport, and that's going to get you on to level 5, wherever that goes. Right. That's my understanding. Just... Chat says I might be slightly off on that. That's cool. I don't want it to all spoiled yet either. You've not been to the ramparts. Oh, okay. Well, honestly, better for me because now I feel like I know where to go. I got to go to the ramparts. I you can get toxic you. sewers from the first stage, basic sewers from the second stage. Oh, I thought they were the same sewers. I didn't realize. Yeah, they're different sewers, but I was trying to figure out like if they're... If it's a modifier thing. You know what? I'm going to take two of the same weapon. And then I can spam X and Y. And it's going to feel good. Dr. He's, Defective, thank you for the eight months in it. a row. He's done it. Old sewers is... Oh, well, okay. I'm not going to necessarily spoil it. I don't even know if it's a spoiler. But I'm going to... Being unaware of what is a spoiler, I'm going to choose not... I'm going to choose not to say anything in case it spoils, you know? Lightning time! Oh, blood sword time! I don't like these things. Nope, lightning sucks. Never using it again. Almost got me killed. Back to double whip. I hate double whip's a joke, by the way. It's not actually any better than one whip. Yeah, because it like the cooldown on the attack is short enough that I assume you can just spam the whip to begin yeah. with. Okay. I'm testing it right now. I'm hitting it on X only and then Y only and then X and Y. And it looks exactly the same. So oh. if it could interrupt the whip attack with another whip attack, I'd be all over the double whip. 
And in fact, if they add that, I'd rather have that than the water hurting you with electricity. That well, would be much in better. In keeping with our earlier conversation, what Dead Cell's weapon most closely resembles the male genitalia? And what Dead Cell's weapon most closely represents the female genitalia? Oh, that's easy. Uh, the double daggers for the male. Okay. And the lightning for the female. Why the double daggers? Because you got a three-hit combo, and then you crit at the okay, end. Okay, but like, why... The double daggers, though. I just told you, three hit combo, crit at the end. It's a big finisher. I think that the female genitalia is the most like a shield. Oh! It's just the opposite of that. A shield stops penetration. Yeah, but like. It's definitely. Are you using it wrong? It's definitely. Wait, isn't that how you do it? You just sort of bump it into the the skin around the area and then hope for the best. <laughs> I mean, there's any way you want to do it. I'm not going to say you're wrong, but yeah, you're wrong. You're wrong. You are. Is that guy? Uh, an hey, Dan boss? G. Thank you very much for the first step of following me into the quarry. Thank you for the subscription, Dan. And Berserk Midget 08 as well. Hmm. Nick, I want to hear this voicemail. Uh, yeah, you know what? Sure. Okay. I guess they've earned it. Let's do it. Let's go! Give me a sec to queue it up here. Feel free to banter for another moment. Oh, it's all I do in my, my whole life. NG Mobile. This what is, is this? Infanture. Alright, incoming in 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Let's go! And that's that. And that's that. I actually... Points of clarification, I don't have tinted windows on my new car. Do you way. have murdered out rims, though? I do, but let me explain why. Okay. <laughs> I didn't actively seek murdered out rims, and what that means is that there's like a... It's like a black finish over the, yeah. the hubcaps on them. And this is a real term, by the way. I didn't know it was, and I actually looked it up. Murdered out rims? Yeah, that's a thing. Did they call it uh, that apparently in the dealership? A murdered out car is when you have a matte black car and everything, all the features on it are black. Mm. And I have a black car. I got a a, a new uh, Honda Civic 2017 hatchback. And thank you everybody that enabled me to make that absolutely beautifully uh, first time adult purchase. I've had a lot of shitty used cars in my life. And it's a wonderful thing to know that my car is going to last me like 10 years potentially. And uh, it was just, it was a great time. The whole thing of me getting it turned out really great. Um, so I got really lucky. I went to this local dealership and they just had what I was looking for. Like that was just it. Yeah, a murdered out rice rocket. I don't know about a second bit. <laughs> Is that, that's not racist, right? I saw I Lu <laughs> Ludacris said that in the Fast and the Furious films. Okay. Yeah, if Ludacris said it, I mean, who am I to, anyway. Uh, so I went in, I was just gonna like look around, 
just kind of get stock of what their inventory was. They didn't really have any plans of buying one that day. I just wanted to see what they had. And uh, I was just kind of poking about. This lady pulls up in her car and she's like, hey, you're, what are you looking at over here? I was like, I don't know, I'm just looking at the cars. She's like, oh, well, like, don't... Uh, well, let's go talk. Let's go talk about what cars we have instead of, like, you looking around the lot. Yeah. Like, you don't know where you're going. And I said, all right, let's go talk. And she's like, so what's the story? Tell me your story. Why are you here? I told her my story. And she's like, all right, so you're you looking for this or that and the other thing. And she just walked me right over to the car that I inevitably ended up buying. It was apparently one they wanted to get rid of and it was all of the things I wanted. It actually had more features on it <clears throat> than I think they even realized it did. <laughs> nice. Well, I mean, I, I don't want to get into too much like financial stuff, but yeah. I got a really good deal on it. We've already established it's all murdered out. Right. Usually you pay a little extra for that. You usually pay a lot extra for the, the murdering of your car. Uh, I don't know the right way to say it it just it all kind of all the things slotted into place That's and how it, when the guy goes. when the guy went to do the financing bit when he, we do the the negotiating part which is what i was fearing the most yeah i went in with zero expectations of actually buying it that day and i used that fully as all of my leverage <laughs> i leaned yeah. on that the whole way through and he didn't like that i was leaning on that and he didn't know how to answer back nice you you mind flooded him I also used another sales tactic on him, which is to make the whole interaction inherently uncomfortable. Okay. <laughs> People don't like being in uncomfortable situations regarding negotiation. So when he would ask me a question, I would kind of answer it in a way and sort of like trail off a little bit. So he'd have to come up with some other way to prompt me forward. And part of that was that I was nervous, but the other part of me was science. I knew what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. You make things uncomfortable, and then if you like, you thrive in the darkness, then it leaves them on the yep. off balance. They're off balance, and it ended up working. So nice. I got an amazing deal. Car went really well. Uh, I, I'm just, I'm loving it. Anyway, the murdered out rims just came with that particular car. They just had it, and there it was. We didn't squabble over what features. I didn't ask for any particular features. I just got the one they had, and that was that. Yeah, I awkwarded my way to a good deal. It all really worked out well. I, I was do, quite nervous. I do agree with Dan, <laughs> though, that you should uh, make, like, a My New Car video. Because yeah. it's it's in your wheelhouse. It's a lampooning oh, of, I get it. of the innate absurdity of, like, Twitch and YouTube culture. Like, you know, there's those YouTubers who make, like, a video where they bought, like, a $150,000 car. And then right. they also solicit donations on their YouTube channel and they're like going thank you for the new car I couldn't have done it without you every time I watch that I can't help but think like maybe I should have bought the BMW instead of giving that dude my <laughs> my $250 well, so we can make a video on it and he's making like yeah. $1,500 off the video too it does feel a little bit awkward though because it's just in the right realm of like it's not a low end car either so I really don't want it to come across like I'm just bragging or something. That's I, really weird. I don't think you need to be concerned about the brag. You know, it's a reasonably like, I needed priced a car. It's a reasonably priced compact sedan. Yeah. I guess, I guess it's a hatchback, not a sedan. It's a hatchback, but it's close enough. Yeah. It's it's sedan like. Ooh, I just didn't want people to get the wrong impression, which is why oh, I didn't yeah. even want to really talk about it too much. But, you know, Dan made it an easy segue, so why not? Oh, can I take two ice grenades? Will that work? You can They indeed. each get their own cooldown? Yes! Okay, we're going. But I still wish... You don't have to. Yeah. But you can make a new car video. Just watch a couple of the ones on YouTube. It's always like, all right, check it out, boys. Look at this brand new <laughs> Honda Civic hatchback, murdered out rims, and then you, you oh I can't write that's my mistake here. Um, you do like a 360 pan around it while the you know the song's picking up, and it's always yeah. one of those ones that starts with like breathy female vocals, and then you know once it gets around to the decals you put on the back window, it goes like bleem, 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 bleem. Is that when the beat drops? That is when Dan the beat said drops. to save the beat for the. The EDM drop for the rims. Exactly. And yes, you should do it as Goldman as well. That's extremely true. I think I'd have to do it as Goldman. I think it's the only option. 
Also, black and gold looks fucking good together. Oh, yeah, dude. All right, I mean, you're getting you're getting somewhere with this argument now. It's a lampooning of Twitch culture. Did I well, mention that? Okay, part? chat, so donate to me so I can buy a drone. <laughs> oh, then you can do the... Then I can do the yeah. pan around fly flyover right, shot. Right, yeah. Uh, I'm going to need you to donate so, so you can donate for the car. <laughs> Don't forget about uh, doing, like, a sick peel out in your... Wait, is your is your driveway gravel no, or asphalt? Dude, I'm that's so much that. better. Make no. sure you get someone to film you doing a sick peel out. Make sure they're wearing like a full no. body suit so they don't <laughs> get like pock marks all over their body from the flying gravel. I'm already going to be washing it every day. I don't want to do the gravel as well and get a scratch on it. Oh, that's Whoa. true. <laughs> I've lived that gravel life before. I understand. I didn't know the fear of I've never had a new car before. I didn't know how much you worry about it all, the, like, every day. What if I wake up and a bird pooped on it? Well, fucking big deal. You wash it off. What if a, a piece of gravel scratches the hood? Oh, who cares? But, like, in your head, it seems like a big deal. Because you just paid all this money for a car. Yeah. You want it to be perfect forever, and it's not going to be. Well, like, Kate and I, we bought our car in the summer of 2015. And then, literally, like, a month later, we went to PAX, and we parked it in yeah. this super cramped parking garage. And then when we uh, picked it up on the on the last day that we were in Seattle, someone had, like, hit it with their car. And it's no. left, like, there is there's one blemish on our otherwise beautiful 2015 Ford Focus. And it's this, like, little bit of red paint from, like, maybe 20 days after we bought it. Ooh, the That's ramparts. an actual nightmare. <laughs> it's so irrelevant, but also I'm, I've had bad dreams about it already. Nah, I mean, the thing is, like... Did you flip out? No, I was kind of like, I'm going to drive this thing for 100,000 years, so who cares? Huh. That's very reasonable. I don't mean to inject oh, myself into the situation. Hey, However, my only request is that when you shoot this video, Neck, that you pound an energy drink and then crush the can. <laughs> you want me to crush the drink? All right. This sounds like he's like Peter Whelan talking to us from beyond the grave. Very far away, yeah. If you're listening to this, I'm already dead. I hope not. Oh, yeah, that yeah, did I did get the car damage. ready. I, uh,. I got such a good deal on it, and they wanted to do the thing where they're like, what can we do to Holy put you in this car? And I'm like, you can give it to me for X amount. And he's like, no. And they're like, well, I'm not buying it. Because <laughs> mm. what do I have to lose? There's like eight more dealerships down the road. So that works. You just stick to your guns and it works. Mm. At least it did this time. I don't know if it's always going to work. I don't know. The guy, he, he, he called me the silent assassin. <laughs> <laughs> and then they they offered they well, the lady at doing the financing at the end she's like are you sure you don't want to work in the car business because like we need people that can negotiate i was like what i just really didn't want to spend more money than i had to the silent the assassin because i looked so quiet and then he came over and i'm like giving him a hassle about the deal went in for a civic came out with a job <laughs> I didn't know I had it in me, to be honest. Uh, I, I'm not the type that usually argues over that shit, but, like, you gotta. <laughs> well, I'm... I mean, I'm jealous. I I played, like, the exact opposite game. I was like, what'll it take to put me in this car today? <laughs> <laughs> I really don't want to spend any more days worrying about this. Right. That didn't put them off balance. They were highly on balance, I think, during our negotiation session, which largely consisted of what is the price of this automobile. Chat's saying I got hustled so hard. And that crossed my mind after the fact, too. I'm like, this seemed too good to be true. What happened here? But, like, there isn't a lot of latitude for it to have been. I got a warranty on it. Like, what are they going to do? I will say that... If I was about to buy the car and they called me the silent assassin, I would be like, something doesn't seem quite right about this situation. <laughs> like, it's just... So, like, I'm getting punked or something. I know! It doesn't, it doesn't feel right, and I don't understand it either. I... I guess we'll see, but I haven't had any problems so far. Oh, Jesus Christ. 
Although it is quite early in the life of the car as well. Oh, I, I wouldn't worry about it. I'm sure you're fine. What do you think? They, like, planted a time bomb in it? That would be bad form. Like, I can prove where I got it, so... I mean, they'd have to take me out entirely for them to get away with it. And maybe that's their plan. Maybe they're going to take me out entirely. I don't we'll find think out. they're going to kill you. <laughs> Unless they actually think you're a silent assassin, in which case... Right, it's kill or be killed in the right. world of car sales. <laughs> <laughs> Little did I know, I signed my own death warrant that day. It is possible. They can't take out the silent assassin. I bet this, this title is going to live on for a while, isn't it? The silent assassin. There are many worse, I'm, but if you've seen me play Hitman, you'd know that that's not true. Right, yeah. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't get down on yourself, though. Silent Assassin, that's a hard, uh, that's a hard modifier to get on a mission. Requires mm. you to not murder anybody, and, you know, as we've established from your nickname. Wait, that's an oxymoron, then. You shouldn't be able to be a Silent Assassin and not murder anybody, I agree. That, what does that mean? How are you an assassin if you don't murder anyone? Or are they referring to past work? Mm-hmm. Oh, okay. Mm-hmm. Suggest getting a mechanic to give it a full diagnostic if you feel like you got scammed. I, I don't know. It just they yeah. inspected it. It's you know a who's saying car. that to you? Probably a mechanic, man. Oh. Yeah, take it to the mechanic for a full diagnostic. See, this is what Rob's talking is. about with Dennis. <laughs> Wait, Dennis or Dentist? Yeah, Rob and Dennis. Yeah, okay. Oh god, Elite Shield Bearer, run! Hello. Dump all of the grenades on him. What are other careers like that? Like, careers where you need to talk to somebody, but you don't want to talk to that person? You want to talk to, like, an ombudsman or something instead to make sure that you're not getting ripped off. I Try don't know that I can conceptualize that idea. I, I understand. <laughs> It's it's a strange question to ask. I want to. I just don't think I can quite do it. I'm like thinking about it. I don't think there's too many. No, Chad, I do not have a trusted mechanic, so I'm basically as good as dead. I also do not have a trusted mechanic, but I've got a strategy for dealing with that. Oh, and good. The strategy is hope I nothing. Too much money. <laughs> well, I was just thinking like a hope nothing on my car ever breaks is like right. pretty good one and it's been working out so far so you know well if it's been working out so far it probably won't ever change so that's what i'm that's thinking plan. things that go don't ever stop going i think about yeah, that I sometimes i'm like you know what if i'm on the highway and like my car breaks down like I, if i live i'm just gonna pull going over to the side of the road but then i guess you just leave it there and then buy another car and just be like that one belongs to the earth now yeah, a lot of cars do, especially in, like, northern Canada. Oh, you're telling me. With that one highway, everything's all nimbledy pimbledy up there. The Coquihalla. Yeah, the Coquihalla. Well, that's, that's one of them. There's many. The one that was by Fort uh, McMurray as well, but that one, like, burned down. Yeah, that is a big problem with our highways here, is that sometimes they're on fire. <laughs> you wouldn't expect it, because it's, it's real like, bad. <laughs> <laughs> Never want to drive that. It's so cold. They, you know, you wouldn't expect them to also be on fire, but that's how they get you. <laughs> it's a highway to hell. I mean, they say it right in the show title. That's actually like the Coca Cola is not super far from Vancouver. It's the way you used oh, yeah, to I go know. like north in BC, I think, um, from like the interior. But I will never drive it because there's a show that exists called highway to hell about that road yeah there's already roads i don't like driving on that are perfectly fine i don't need to go on one called the highway to hell did you know there's a part of that highway called the smasher yeah see that's <laughs> that's what it's called i don't want any part of my driving Get experience there. don't go to the smasher <laughs> to be on a roller coaster <laughs> name that seems bad there's a, there's another one <laughs> that's called uh and it's it's actually gorgeous but it's called the Sea to Sky Highway, and it's the way you go from, like, Vancouver to Whistler, which is the ski resort oh. up here. But it also sounds like it takes you from cradle to grave. 
Like, it sounds like it's called the Cradle to Grave Highway. It's like you start at sea level and you end up in heaven. If you've been a good person, at least. Uh, and it's really <laughs> scary. Like, there's signs on the road that are like, if you don't have winter tires, get the hell out of here. Wait, they, do they make you chain up? Well, you're, or just it's, the tires? It actually is illegal to drive on it, like, after January and before May or something without winter tires. But I don't, uh, know, I don't know how, like enforce that rule is but it's like genuinely a winding road through the mountains and everyone's like if you're on a bus everyone's like snapping photos and you're like you're these are gonna yeah. be last known photograph of everybody on this bus but then you get Man, to whistler some mountain like, roads beautiful. too but i i imagine those are pretty terrifying because i'm not really i'm not in the the verticality that you are yeah i guess it gets high up there should I fight this guy? I mean, we got 11 minutes left. Let's let's go for it, dude. Oh! He came out of nowhere! Oh, you got a teleporty guy? Yeah, he's a phaser? Mm-hmm. I'm kicking the crap out of him, though. That was not a smart move on my part, admittedly. So now that I've told the car story, I should probably tell the follow-up story of the next day. Okay. Uh... It's an incredible moment of embarrassment that I will probably live through a hundred thousand times in the course of my life. Okay. And I think that's exactly what this show needs. Yeah, that's that's perfect. It's it on helps brand. me deal with it, honestly. It's like it's a coping <clears throat> mechanism that everyone can accept that I've done this thing. Okay. So I had to go to Target. I uh, wanted to pick up some stuff for the car, just pick up like a bunch of bread and shit. Like just needed to go for errands. Did you get floor mats? And I did get floor mats, I knew yes. It. I uh, got the plastic ones, too, uh, because I don't trust that I won't get goop on there or some kind of dust yeah. shit. I don't know. Anyway, it was rainy. Uh, I also want to test out the tires, see how it goes in the in the rain. So went over to Target. It's rather big parking lot. Uh, ended up parking it pretty far away from where all the cars were because, you know, probably figure out why I didn't want to get any scratches on it. Right, yeah, yeah. Went in, got my stuff, came back out. Uh, still pouring rain. And uh, as I come back to the car, I see, what do you know, Bird there's a shopping cart pretty Ooh. much right up against the side of it. Uh, I was coming up to it horizontally, though, so I couldn't see the front of the back of the car. And the, the shopping cart was like at a 45 degree angle by the back bumper. So I'm walking up. I'm immediately thinking, all right, it's fucked. The whole, the whole car is fucked. Yeah, I'm, it's, it's over. <laughs> hit it in the, the self-destruct <laughs> I got to just button. bring it to the scrap. It's done. <laughs> Maybe they'll still give me $20 for it. Who knows? <laughs> Um, so as I get closer, my only thought is I got to go see how badly this, this thing is damaged. Not even knowing if it is. I mean, it might not be at all. Right, yeah. Uh, but of course it is, so. It is. That's just what I've decided. It's beyond repair. Get closer, and I realize, oh, thank God, the thing is not touching the bumper, and I don't see any marks. Right. So now I've got an armful of groceries I need to put in the back. I go to pop the trunk, and I go, wait a second, something's not quite right here. It's not your car. The license plates are newer. I have the old New York license plates. <laughs> this is the new New York license plates. This yeah. is not my car. Correct. Same model, same year, same color, same tires. Everything's the same. The and curse. it was parked roughly where I thought I was. It's the curse of the common car. I, I get it myself now and then. But wait, there's more. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> that by itself would have been slightly off-putting. Not nearly as bad as what actually happened. Uh, I go to open the back. Realize it's not my car. Recoil in horror, of course. Wait, wait, then, wait. Did it have murdered out rims? Yeah. Okay. The same car. Jeez. Same, exactly the same car. It's, That's it's why I was really confused. Silent Assassin. <laughs> number two. <laughs> Somebody else got the same deal. <laughs> They're churning them out over there. Uh, yeah, so there was a person in the car. Oh. And I didn't notice. I was struggling with my bags and worrying about the groceries and also had my hood up and it was raining. Mm -hmm. So I assume they think I was about to steal their car. That seems like a plausible explanation for what happened. Uh, they then rev their engine and, and like peel out out of, the, out of the parking lot. And I am left with the most confused and terrified feeling. That is really good. Not only did that all just happen, but then I'm like, where the fuck is my car? <laughs> It was too many emotions. I felt like I was going to have a nervous breakdown <laughs> over actually nothing. But it was a lot of anxiety for really for nothing at all. My car was just like two rows over, by the way. I it mean, was not a problem. You did Nothing try. actually happened. You did try to steal that lady's <laughs> car. Oh, 
have, if only I would have been able to tell the person that I wasn't trying to steal their car. I'm just an idiot. You should have gotten in your car and chased after them. <laughs> that can only end well. Yeah. Yeah, so I never wanted to leave my house again after that. Uh, I, like I said, I'm going to live that moment for the rest of my life about 100 yeah. times a day. So is she, honestly. Yeah. Oh, this this is perfect crazy time. hoodlum with the hood who tried to yeah. steal my car. <laughs> Yeah, hmm. uh, I've really changed in these last couple days. I'm an assassin, a robber. I don't know, whatever else you want to decide. I am a gold man, I guess. Energy drinks sell out. Nothing wrong with that. Bottoms up and the devil laughs. I hope so. I hope it's his bottom. Nick, does your car have a backup camera? It does. Dude, welcome to the new era. I know, it's crazy. The backup camera is the dopest thing ever invented in human history. Does yours have the lines that shift as you turn the wheel? Yes, it does. That's so cool! I don't know how they do it. They're they're gods. It's like they can sense the trajectory of the turn, and then they, like, map it to a graphic. There's a lot of new car <laughs> features that I think are not that relevant. But, dude, the backup camera is the greatest invention in earth's history i can park anywhere with like 100 percent camera also it does not have a side camera mine has a side camera okay well that's like that's egregious that's what i'm saying they gave me so many features i didn't even ask for them you really are the silent assassin what did this thing oh i don't want to do that that'll kill me when I was, when she was giving me the rundown of all the features, my eyes were almost a little glazed over because I've never even been in a modern car. <laughs> oh, fuck. And she was running down the features, showing me stuff as like, okay, now put your foot here. Now press this button and do that. I'm like, I'm still working on the, that there's no key. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to be for like another year. <laughs> I still think you might just be able to steal those cars. I've I read that they're actually more secure than ones with keys. But that might be, like, liberal propaganda. I don't know. Sometimes I don't have a key in my pocket, but Kate does. And I get yeah. in on the driver's side, and it's like, go for it, dude. Oh, you can't trust that. Yeah, I know. And then I just I push a button. One time I push the button, and it's like, no key detected, and the engine started anyway. No. That's when it calls the police, though, right? I mean, I hope so, but I'm still running free. Until they catch you on the highway. Oh, you know what, Nick? Before before people who are socially competent show up in this call, I've got yeah. another story that I think we'll have anxiety resonance with. Awesome. Kate and I, we were in Seattle, <laughs> as, as you know, and then we had to go to Redmond. And we put in the coordinates on the GPS to get to where we needed to go. And then we're looking at the highway signs, and it's like toll bridge ahead. So I'm like, oh right. shit, okay. So I like, I don't mind paying for the toll bridge, but I don't understand the process of how to pay for the toll bridge. So we okay. just yeah. drove across, and then at the end of the bridge, it was like, if you didn't pay, we're gonna make you pay by mail. So I actually oh. am at the present moment just very confused about what's gonna happen. I don't think oh, I'm going to go weird. to jail, but I, I did go over that bridge twice. I'm not really sure how that all works. I've gone over a number of bridges in my life. I've never had the situation come up where I wasn't <laughs> sure how to pay. I was ready. Like, usually have it moderated. Like When we were getting ready pay. to go over the bridge, I was like, Kate, do we have American change? Because that's like, you know, a prerequisite. we got to hand some change to somebody when we get over here. And then, you know, we got over there and it was just like... You know, we're going to charge you by mail. And I was like, all right, good luck, buddy. I don't live in this country. Where were you meant to pay? I don't know. That's the thing. Drop some money on the road? <laughs> like, what? <laughs> you Somebody probably... who lives in that area must know the answer to this. It must be a very particular situation with that one bridge. There was no toll booth? Dude, okay, I know you're saying it's an easy pass only bridge, but sincerely on the sign it said all are welcome. And I'm that is the exact <laughs> verbiage. It said all are welcome. So I was like, all right. I don't need That's any so more specific all must be welcome then. I don't need any more invitation than that at this point. You're all? 
You're definitely part of that subset. What if I drove through there with like a Mexican license plate though? You put the money on the toll booth machine thing. Oh, I know that part, but there clearly wasn't one. There was no machine. You just kept driving. It doesn't even sound like Easy Pass because there's gates for those. What a mystery. I don't Maybe know. Maybe the man. world will never know. Maybe nobody pays and it's all a big prank. You're gonna get a bill in the mail. All right. I mean, I'll I'll pay the bill. Doesn't bother oh, he me. He must have snapped his license plate. I will say it did say paying by mail was four dollars and fifty cents, and I was like, as a steep charge to go across a bridge. But mm, you should check out New York City. They've got a bridge that is like twelve dollars. Twelve dollars? Yeah. They just keep raising it every year. Good lord. If you commute to the city, it's a nightmare. Every year, it's like, how do I keep doing this job that I need to go back and forth from? Eventually, you're just going to be working to travel. Yeah, man. What a pleasure. Well, there's there's toll bridges in, like, Vancouver as well, but I've never had to use them. I was like, our, our GPS sold us out, man. They've got, like, a contract with the toll corporation or something. <laughs> Nestle Toll House. I'm supposed to avoid the tolls. I understand the concept of a troll, a toll bridge. A troll bridge? <laughs> In theory, I understand the concept of a troll bridge as well. Like, a, a troll bridge is really just a toll bridge where you answer, or you pay with questions, right? You pay with your knowledge. Oh, to get into the boys' hole. Exactly, course, yeah. yeah. It's semi-tangential, but I, I watched that uh, first episode of the show Departures the other day, where there, it's uh, two Canadian guys, and they go on a... A trip around the world and document it. It's mm. on Netflix. A really good show. Their first trip, they go from the East Coast to the West Coast in Canada. Yeah. And they actually end up in the coast of Vancouver. Yeah, yeah. And the final shot, and I realized this when I was watching it with Lynn, is it was the same place that I was standing taking pictures. <laughs> where I was in like, Vancouver? that's so cool. On the, the coast there, where there's that little carn, and there's <laughs> like a bunch of rocky outcroppings on the beach. All right, I have to ask what a carn is, but... The, the stack of stones. Oh, okay. You remember? You were there. <laughs> it's an Anukshuk, actually, Nick. In, in Canada, oh, what did we call I... that an Anukshuk. What the hell's a Karn, then? Is, did I make that word up? No, it's like a, it's a British Anukshuk, I think. Oh, okay. Anyway, I was just very excited by that because I, I was someplace that people on TV were. Yeah, man. <laughs> so, like, that's very similar to a story that Kate and I had where we were watching this television program called Drugs, Inc. about uh, people doing needle drugs in Vancouver. Did you do the same needle drugs as them? <laughs> no, but we're like, they're like, you know, <laughs> showing clips of them in the downtown east side, and I'm like, that's a really good diner! We've eaten there, and this dude's like, you know, slotting the syringe into his arm and pushing the plunger down. But I'm like, that place has great smoked meat sandwiches! This show's yeah, awesome! A pizza box, ask, <laughs> box asking you if it's a nice street. <laughs> yeah, well... <laughs> They did show a little of that uh, area as well, that area. There's like, right next to that bus stop that we got harassed <laughs> by that dude who had told us he liked the well, city more when he it was didn't quiet. He did really harass us. We're just making it sound that way. He, uh, well, three people got stabbed there on Saturday. No. Yeah. I think it was like... Oh, no. They were related stabbings, to the best of my knowledge. It wasn't no, just like three separate stabbings, which in a way makes me feel better, but... You gotta ask Rob about all the stabbings. There's been a ton in Queens lately. Oh, yeah? I don't know what's going on. It's like people are very upset about how hot it is or something. They just want to get stabbed. Or be stabbed or do the stabbing. Somebody's getting stabbed. Stabbing? How Canadian? Yeah, I mean... There's not too many shootings here. I think it's way harder to have a gun in Canada, isn't it? Or, no, actually, the other way around. We have, like, a lot of gun ownership, but not very much gun crime relative to our neighbors to the south. You get turned away just for bringing pepper spray to the border. Yeah, keep that shit out of here. But like, guns? Yeah, they're mm. right. That's true. I mean, there's parts of Toronto that are a little sketch. I mean, there's parts of, like, Surrey in BC, just south of Vancouver. You get some gun crime down there, but I think it's, like, it's, like, quaint relative to 
parts of the U.S., I'm sure. Oh, we call her Siri here. Oh, yeah, no, we call her Suri. Because if we say Siri, it sounds too much like Suri. Oh, and then you'd rather because it sounds like Zero. Exactly. So, you know, it's like a it's a complicated thing. Prime rate does correlate with heat pretty closely. Oh, I know. You don't have to ask further than this room. It's 95 degrees or higher right now. And I want to commit crimes at this very moment. Crimes correlate with heat? Yeah, if you're really disgruntled, of course you're going to murder people. I don't know. Wait a minute. Crime, what, what do you mean, mean crimes mean? correlate with heat? Prove it. Oh, I'm Better dead. There it is. The more crimes. That's not proof, though. That's that's an assertion. Mm, yeah, I said it, so it's true. <laughs> Help. 95 degrees is too hot, Nick. That's almost boiling. Steal some ice. No, it's like 28C, I think. Still pretty hot. Let me double check. So you no, that's if Fahrenheit. 95 Fahrenheit is like you're in the 30s for certain. Oh, I just want to see what it is in my room right now because it's still going up. As an aside, I am going to die soon. Strikes me as an opportune segwayable moment. I think he might be gone. Oh, it's not good. Let's go, let's go. 97. Yeah, that's that's too hot. We're working on 100. If we can break 100, then we win. What is that in, in Celsius? Jack, can you do a quick conversion? It's very simple. Just multiply it by uh, 5 and then divide it by 9 and subtract 32. Just a logical operator. c is 37.77. All right. Yeah, that's, that's extremely hot. Yeah, yeah, inside it's too hot. I agree. I started to get I a got little four fans on. I <laughs> started to get a little batty. My in the winter time, my office gets up to like 30 Celsius and stays there. Mm -hmm. Pretty uncomfortable. Oh, it's you hit good, me once. You, know, you gotta time. sweat it out sometimes. I'm gonna do it today and tomorrow, and then we'll be good for a while again. I am dead. Uh, I've finished many runs and started over. Do you want to move on at any point? Let's, or are you still... let's move on. All right. We're going to run some ads. Be back in three minutes. Buy dead cells. It's very mm -hmm. good. Or don't if you don't want to, but probably do. We do have central air, and that's the problem. My office gets super hot because it's really small. So far hot. Now they're going to do it. Please do. One day I'll play that game. It's like fine. Dead Cells is better though. Ultimate chicken horse. Does your car have air conditioning, Nick? It's the biggest relief of my life. <laughs> it works so well. That was part of the thing was like before the motor mounts failed on my last car, the AC was also out. So my next plan was to bring it to an AC specialist and see if they could actually fix the damn thing. Mm -hmm. And then once I found the motor mounts were dead, I was like, okay, it's a lost cause. I'm done with this fucking thing. You should just start, become like an IRL streamer. What, like fix my car? No, oh. like, you know, just drive around your car and shoot the shit. Don't look at chat too much. <laughs> I gotta say, it's extremely distracting already, just all the things they've added to the dashboard. Mm. I mean, it's great. It's convenient. But also, do I really need, like, the song title <clears throat> scrolling on under my steering wheel? <laughs> yeah. That's that's too much. <laughs> I, I try to turn off as much of it as possible, but some of it's, like, real cool to see. You're real cool to see, Nick. Oh, thanks. You're welcome. Stop being mad at Celsius, chat. Of all the things to make a political issue out of, you're going to draw a spectrum, Democrats versus Republicans on the temperature measurement of choice? It's madness. I say we all switch to Kelvin's. Calvin. Klein. Is. The. No, I thought it was just you two. Did you want me to jump in? I couldn't think of anything that wasn't super oh, okay. offensive. That's fair. 
I mean, Calvin is good, but like, I would Fine, though. <laughs> I would accept Calvin over having Celsius and Fahrenheit. That's fine by me. Calvin, Ethan, Klein. Coolidge. Ba -ba 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 -da. Do we have a three banger today? Or do we have a? I mean, a four. I asked, Rob said, "Let me know if you need me for anything." And I sent him a message, and I said, "You want to be on for uh, Ultimate Chicken Horse and Dead Cells and Golf?" And he didn't reply. He did say his internet was out earlier this morning. Oh! I can mirror that sentiment. Mine's been up and down also, so it's quite possible he's gone. Good old New York internet. Yeah. Yeah, we do what must be done with what we have, which is very little. Mouth, are you it's in It's not chat? like there's much important going on in New York anyway. That's true. Yeah, who cares about New York? Not me. <clears throat> I prefer F for weather. Yeah, because you grew up with it. There's no... I mean, I will say that there's no... In terms of temperature, there's no inherent difference on the weather report between Celsius and Fahrenheit. The problem is that 99% of the world uses freaking Celsius. And then America's over here going, nah, Fahrenheit's better. Everybody else is wrong. But we're not doing that, though. Well, yeah, like some, some people in chat, we're like, but nah, we're stuck in a cycle where we keep teaching it, and everyone knows right. it and uses it for everything that we can't break out without a huge swift in public opinion. But people are saying like, did you say a huge swift? <laughs> yes, I did. People are That's saying Fahrenheit awesome. is more precise. What are you talking about? Just what use a decimal really? point in your Celsius degradation. The distinction between 100F and whatever I said C was like 37.777778. Yeah, but you would never put that on the... It, the thing is, functionally on a weather report, it doesn't matter. It's never 100 Fahrenheit. It's 100.00030145, right? But they just round mm. it. Mm, right now That's it's 89 want, degrees Fahrenheit. I, it, but it's actually not, though. It's hotter in New York than it is in Texas. Is it? Wait, where is it? Well, in in here, it's like 97. Right oh, now. well, you know, get an air conditioner. Tell me the last yeah, time your weather no, broadcast put a decimal point in. Tell me the last time you freaking saw 36 on the weather report, and then you went outside and were like, mm, actually, this feels more like 35. I don't trust the weather. <laughs> this is madness. Right. What is 36 in Fahrenheit, though? Well, you multiply it by 9, and then divide it by 5, oh, and add 32. 96. It's pretty obvious. Uh, okay, 36 times 9 is 180. Well, no, that's six. not correct. <laughs> right. It's 180 that's degrees in Canada right now. No, yeah. it's the 200, 270. What's 54? 200, 334 divided by 5 is 6 something. I don't know. Yeah, there you go. Three, like six. 80 something? That seems Eight. correct. All right. That was close. I think I invited you, but I kind of like <laughs> half paid attention when I did it. So mm, Okay. Robert says... Fudge Time Warner. Yeah, I kind of so got that impression. That I think that answers that question. Said he was on his phone. That's fair. Do you have Ultimate Chicken Horse on that thing? <laughs> <laughs> you probably play better. <laughs> you can't Ooh. fight back because he's oh, not in the God. call. Imagine trying to play this on a touch screen. Imagine on a touch screen. Z Z U C H. <laughs> Austin Overkill's a really good song, man. It's a great song. It's a great song. Chat's on me about listening to the acoustic version, though, and it's like, eh. they're both good. Yeah, but the thing is, like, I don't respect acoustic music. Why too not? Easy, right? Yeah, it's too easy. It's like, oh, hey, this is a great song. Can you just, like, strip out all the instrumentation and just make it a dude with a guitar? Oh, it's so soulful now. Yeah. And uh, they get to release the Unplugged CD, which is like, fuck off. Yeah. Just make an actual CD. It's like, but like, you know, sometimes you don't have the whole band there and all the ways to do that, so you make an acoustic version so it can be performed in more casual environments. Grow up and get a fucking loop pedal. Yeah, exactly. Idiot. Owen Pallet, motherfucker. Have you ever played music before in your life? You're supposed to be an artist. Have you not heard Alice in Chains Unplugged? You should really call it Alice Unchained instead of Unplugged. Why didn't oh, they think of that? Combat or God of War Unchained. What's your favorite uh, Alice in Chains song? Uh, probably School's Out. 
Oh, dude, that's... Yeah, me too. I was thinking, like, Billion Dollar Baby, personally, but, you know, you got... Billion Dollar Baby. Billion yeah, yeah, it's... Dollars, oh. <laughs> that's another good one. I, that's the acoustic version of Billion Dollar Baby. <laughs> <laughs> It was a mistake, but you it was were working anyway. as a baby in a finance <laughs> bank when I had you. Whoa, you had them in a bank where they started working? Yeah, they were really pre precocious. Couldn't get a day off, huh? <laughs> yeah, with the American labor laws, am I right? <sighs> oh, oh, I get it, labor laws. Hey, hey what? I don't even know if that oh, was intentional. That was not intentional. If you love it metric so much, it, why don't you live on metric time? Well, here's my impression of the chat, you know. Oh, you like vegetables? Why don't you only eat vegetables? You see, you gotta live a balanced lifestyle. This, the, Fahrenheit, the Fahrenheit versus Celsius thing doesn't even bother me. The thing that bothers me about the Fahrenheit versus Celsius is that it's just American stubbornness. Everybody else has gone on the Celsius train and you're going, nah, not us. And then, I'm, again, not you, Austin. You're and probably well not for Nick. Being stubborn. Oh fuck! I messed it up. I don't really care about which oh. methodology you use, as long as I don't know. I'm just gonna use what I know, that's and fine. I know. And I think enough. that's fine. If your thing is like, yeah, you think it's hot, but I think it's cold because we can't agree on anything, then like <laughs> we need a better language. I agree with that. Serious question: What's wrong with unplugged albums? Nothing. We're just shooting the shit. I well, I mean. As always, all of, my, double down. <laughs> all of my logical extremes are an actual extension of what I truly believe. Yeah. I'm not that into acoustic covers. I just find it like... It's what sad. about songs that are just acoustic songs? See, I'm okay with that. Like, if a song is it was designed to be acoustic, I really like that. But if somebody's like, hey, I don't... I find Hey Ya intimidating, but listen to this acoustic version of Hey Ya by a dude with a guitar. Now this is something I can get into. Like I think that'd be a tough one to convert, wouldn't it? People give a little too much credit to acoustics. I think I'm just saying. Ah, oh, dang. I don't know. I think uh, the a perfect circle, unplugged stuff like that turned me on to acoustic music a bit. I thought really it just turned you on. That would have been more interesting. Did a little bit of both. You guys see. The Article of Confederation. The Articles yes. of Confederation, 1867. Never forget Sir John A. MacDonald. Um, <laughs> no, the article... John Gay. There were two big millennial articles on Monday. The Avocado Story. Avocado Story was the Ugh. one that I was not going to bring up but wanted to allude to because it's hilarious. But then there was the other one that was the dude who worked at a business magazine. And he's like, check out my new little lunch hack. You won't believe this. And it was making sandwiches at work. He was like... That's his hack. He was like, it dawned on me one day when I was in the supermarket trying to uh, buy a sandwich. They've got all the sandwich ingredients in the supermarket. I could save a little bit of money <laughs> by buying the ingredients at the supermarket and then making it at work. And then the series of photos with captions are simultaneously like the most uplifting and saddest things I've ever seen in my life. Like he made this little- This is unironic? I, I think it was not satire, but he made a, a <laughs> shitty little like ciabatta ham and Swiss sandwich. And then the caption under it is like, it's the most transcendent lunchtime experience of my life. And then there's people that have like tweeted the author. Oh, it is satire. I should have had more faith in humanity than I did. But I really and like ruins the whole the whole story. the whole bit is gone it. now. But I can't yeah. I can't go too far in on him now. But he's it. You know what? I give him credit for sticking to the bit because he's been tweeted yeah. and people were like, you know, are you is this satire? And he's like, no. People in the office looked at me funny for making my sandwiches there. As far as I know, the avocado one isn't. So you can go pretty hard. No, that guy is idea. actually just an out of touch idiot. You know, that one had, I, I saw a good, I think Mathis retweeted a good tweet from a subset of the Nickelodeon family. I don't know. Mm. What? Did he No, it was like Nick Splat. Oh. <laughs> you know what Nick Splat is? Never heard of Nick Splat, Gack? but I want to. No, Nick Splat. I don't know Nick Splat. Splat. Some subsection of Nickelodeon. And uh, it was just a picture of an old Rugrats cartoon with uh, Tommy looking like he was poor and homeless, being like, when you... Why, Zoe? Avocado toast. It was good. I mean, 
1970, you could put a down payment on a house making minimum wage. But it's probably just because they weren't buying avocados back then. Yeah. Yeah. It definitely wasn't because you made the equivalent of, like, $60,000 in 2017 working at a fucking video store. <laughs> that was uh, an Australian thing, yeah. right? The and then, of, story? of course, because this is the way the world works today, you can't make a post like that without getting dunked on to an extreme degree. People found out that, like, he started his business with a $34,000 loan from his dad. Right. Or gift from his dad. Seems to happen a lot. And everyone's like, okay, the jury's in. Uh, stop buying avocado toast. Start getting $34,000 gifts from your parents. <laughs> <laughs> I, I love the parallel that Australia had the avocados are the problem, and America had iPhones are the problem. And for them, it was you can't buy a house, and for us, it's you can't buy healthcare. Right, yeah, because you got so 300 least, iPhones. If yeah. we get rid of the iPhones and the avocados, <laughs> our lives are probably going to be sorted out pretty well. Funny enough, I happen to use an iPhone and eat avocados today, so I'm fucked. What's wrong that with that? It's hard to turn $34,000 into a business. Well, the thing that's wrong with it is that he's basically being like, Hey, you can buy a house if you just stop spending money, but he clearly came from a situation where he had a leg up on the competition because he was able to get a $34,000 gift from his family. The iPhone thing pissed me off for two reasons. Wait, wait, do we do we have enough rounds, by the way, now? What, how many like, didn't that it set to... Didn't that one end because it was too... Oh, I didn't put up to 20. I put it on 10 points, but I forgot the 20 part. Okay. All right, fixed. Because like the the iPhone guy was like a, like a, on some news channel or whatever. Yeah. Because he's like he's half right, isn't he? Like yes. Stop so buying so many dark. fucking iPhones. But that's How not the reason that you can't afford healthcare. <laughs> but it, you know, like I just I don't want someone seeing that and being like, well, I can like he's right. I, I should buy an iPhone now, I, even though I don't have very much money well, for it. No, that's not exactly what we're talking about. It's, ah! you know, it's it's not. But I just say it's like a another thing that comes from him saying that dude up here in canada we have so much money for extra iphones like i just get another one every two weeks if it starts to get a little slow <laughs> on me or sometimes i'm like oh i don't want all the photos that are on this thing what do i do i just buy another one throw the other one in the, in the paper shredder that's why they don't put removable storage on iphones they expect you to just throw them out i wish they would add a delete photos function <laughs> Cause sometimes I take gonna. I take a bad photo of <laughs> Ruka or Tomo and I'm like I don't want to see that anymore. Get out of here. Gonna have to chuck Gotta it. Buy a new iPhone, I guess. One of my viewers made a edit of a picture of either Ruka or Tomo. Oh no, he did both and made it like a hyper version with like the red zoom in craziness. <laughs> it's actually horrifying. Does it say you know y'all mind if I hit that beat or something? No, it doesn't like say anything. It's just no. <laughs> so it's just scary. It's just, it's like a, a monster you'd find under your bed or something. An energy drink. That's the only monster I'm finding under my bed. Uh, when was the last time you consumed an energy drink? Literally just now. I'm mm -hmm. not drinking Like one. a Madrina's? I had a Madrina's and then a Red Bull. Okay, I'm, I just wanted to make it clear that I'm not counting coffee. Uh, okay. like high school? I okay. liked Monster. So alumni. six months ago. Does <laughs> 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 Monster not taste like sand to you? Oh, it tastes like a like a soda, like a Mountain Dewish soda. Oh, I had a very different experience. It must have been those old ass Madden ones that were in the fridge for two years. Maybe that's why it ruins the flavor. I think I had some Red Bulls in 2014. A good year to have them. Good vintage. No, I'm not gonna OD on caffeine. Caffeine in this case pushes me through the hundred degree temperatures. If I didn't have this, I'd just fall over. Well, I'd the LD50 on caffeine is like you can get there, but you'd you'd probably throw up well before you did. Yeah, and it's really more about like is my heart okay than anything else, and that you're fair to ask, but I don't think it's gonna kill me today. Oh, shit. I, I just stick yeah. to one, one cup of coffee a day, and that's it. No, no more, no less. Why does Nick know sand taste? You never tasted sand? 
think you could infer how sand tastes. You never gotten kicked down in the beach? Yeah, <laughs> that's the thing. You're hanging at the beach with your best girl, and then some guy with no abs but a really, really robust chest comes around and pushes you <laughs> into the sand, and then he well. does the thing where he puffs it out, and then his your girl walks off with him. Yeah. And he kicks sand in your face. It was a leather jacket, but yeah, that story is exactly correct. Leather jacket on the beach, by the way, a very bold decision in the yeah. summer. But you know, you gotta, gotta use it or lose it, I guess, that when it comes to leather. <laughs> it's beach armor. Beach armor. It's like going to the beach. No. I, see, I don't like it because, like, you go to the beach, you get all the beach on you. You know, you yep. just get beach on you. And then you go take a shower, well, and you I get a shower, and you still flat. You feel like you have beach on you. Mm. Even after you take a shower. I actually, I if you if you like going to the beach, that's fine. I'm not trying to say that that's a stupid opinion for once, but I don't get it. Cause you don't like do anything at the beach. You're just at the beach doing things. You know, you sit on the ground. Yeah, but warm. like what? So what? Then you go sit and you put your feet in the water and you splash okay. a little bit and play volleyball or like. Okay, I'm books. I'm pro volleyball. But like, okay. I think the last time I went to the beach, we just sort of like sat on the beach and like read. And I was like, yeah, it's just hot. It's no, I sat on the beach until I became red. Just go to a water park. That's, I I actually, I was just about to say I enjoy water sports before thinking about yeah, it. Yeah, I know uh, somebody else that's quite <laughs> orange that does oh. well. Uh, before I get grouped in with these guys, I'm officially like somebody that was born on the seaside. So like, <laughs> like I am officially a beach baby. I just don't have a make, beach anywhere near me. Make it sound like like a ship with no captain, like ran That's aground, me. and then That's there was me. just one woman on it who went into labor immediately. <laughs> you know, he's That's born me. of the sea. <laughs> I was born in a small town on the north shore of Long Island, and I had, you know, a lot of water around me, a lot of beach. And now I live in kind of a landlocked area where there's just a lot of trees, and I don't ever go to the beach. And I miss it. Fresh I went to the beach all the time as a kid because I lived near Galveston. Mm. And maybe I'm, you know, biased. University of Texas, Longhorns. Yeah, Go that's, Horns! That's Austin, Texas. What's but the Galveston okay. school? Uh, there's an A&M school. In that's Galveston, it. Texas A&M. But, Go but Aggies. Texas A&M is actually in College Station. It's just a subset that's in Galveston. Mm. Anyway, um, Galveston isn't really like a, a beach. It's just more like, you know, it, just poop water. Like, it's all brown and gross. There's no, there's no value going to the Galveston beaches because it's just all. Oh, is it one of those chemical outlets? Where no, it's just the... it's bay water, and the the bay like circulates all the the sand and dirt up and just makes everything fucking gross. Oh, doesn't smell like shit though. It smells like beach. Because we had like there was this little inlet before the beach, and it just collected chemicals and shit. It just smelled awful. Kind of ruined the whole thing when you're walking by there. I just, hey. here's the thing. I get why you go to a movie theater. You want to watch a movie. But the beach contains nothing. It contains, I guess it Rabs. contains water. Barnacles. But I would 10 out of 10, like, rather go to a swimming pool than a beach. Yeah? I, mean, I really want to rent out a water park for myself for a day, because... You get to go to a water park, you get to ride like three rides the whole day because you're waiting in line yeah. the whole time. It's the worst, man. Also, I don't know about you guys. I haven't, I haven't been to a water park probably in like, you know, 10 or 15 years. But the ones that are made of like that riveted plastic, after a while, like, I start to get these like bumps on my body, yeah. like welts from where the, the rivets are hitting me. You're going down those things like, you know, too. 20 miles an hour. It's juiced up a little bit, but you're still like thunk, 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 you know? You're looking at a situation where if you get that enthusiastic and you have access to the water park for the whole day, no lines, like Austin was saying, you're going to find yourself either falling out of one of the rides because mm. you're that excited, or you're going to rip up your back. What? One or the other. Is this just like a Murphy's Law situation? I don't yeah. understand well, where I mean, this comes from. Experience. If you've ever ridden 
a ride, like a water ride before, you know that the only thing keeping you in those tubes is your lack of enthusiasm that's drained out of you by the line. <laughs> yeah, it's that and the centrifugal that. force, yeah. If you if you get really excited and you throw yourself down that thing, your body's gonna flop and you're gonna shoot right out of there and you're gonna die. Can't be on board with this situation. Here's why so, pools are better. Sometimes why they don't rent them out is what if you go to pools, they have like those sweet ropes that you can climb on and then swing into the water. Ain't never seen anything like that in this stupid beach. Mm-hmm. Some beaches have those, they're just off to the side. How are you gonna what are they gonna attach it to? The sky? There's no, real... there's trees sometimes. Oh, that see that doesn't that's strike me as a by beach. Off to the side. I see that's more like a pond situation. I mean, sure, ponds as well, but beaches do have edges sometimes. Oh, you. Or do you think they go forever? No, I don't think they go forever. But well, at the edge is probably a tree. Ryan, you know that that teleport has been there maybe since like round two. Yeah, but I didn't want it. That's the easy way. Pools feel dirtier than a beach to me. I, I kind of nope. outgrew my Depends swimming choice. I used to go to the stream all the time, and that was fun. But then I got older, and I'm like, wow, this really hurts all the time, and smells, and there's bugs. And there's no guarantee there's not going to be, like, a broken bottle. I mean, there's not really ever, but... Just the beach is a oh. lower chance oh. of dying. One time I lost, uh, I lost my hat or something that I had. I just, like, went down the river, and then I had to chase it. And I was just scratching up my knees, flying over all these rocks. It was really uncomfortable. You know what? I got up the boy by a river one time. That's what I was gonna say. You know what's nice about pools? You don't have to worry about like, oh, ah, yeah, don't get caught by the current and die. Mm -hmm. and well, then, they but... do have undertow, which kills you too. A pool? I, uh... Oh, sorry. I thought you said the ocean. Oh, jeez. No, pools can kill you for different reasons. Yeah, they can suck you up through the filter. <laughs> If you're a very tiny man, yes. If you get your stoma caught in the filter, it'll just pull your insides out. I saw Final Destination, and that's not good. I lied. I didn't see Final Destination. Wave pools are cool, but it's the same problem. There's too many people in them. Yeah. You get any of piss. piss. The best things are the, the lazy rivers and water parks. Yep. Love them. Slitterbond Galveston has... Like one of the coolest, like it's like just a huge lazy river that has a bunch of really fun waves that you can jump around on. And there's no line. Around. It's big enough for everybody. It's super fun. You just go in there all day. Then maybe you go ride one ride. It's called Schlitterbahn. 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 It's German. It's oh, German. okay. They uh they tweeted me this morning actually the Schlitterbahn Twitter account. Because we mentioned it in that Battlegrounds video? No, someone tweeted at me uh, and said they were going to Slitterbond, but they were sick and they needed help. They asked <laughs> help from Dr. Doggo. And then Slitterbond tweeted, no, Dr. Bond's got you covered. And I was like, should you go to Slitterbond if you're sick? Yeah, you sh know. they That's should be saying, you know, we'll give you a refund for your admission <laughs> today, but don't come to the park. You're going to get everybody <laughs> sick. sick. Like they got a case of the Mondays kind of sick, not that oh. like actual oh. illness. All right. Anybody else get disconnected there? No. No. Well, you did, though. Cool, no, I went automatically. Oh, no, wait, Nick, Nick can... I'm still here. I forgot you were close. It's okay, Water we're parks gonna... are full of angsty teenagers. That makes them worse. Have you ever been to the beach? Beach is like... <laughs> <laughs> a lot of, like, 52-year-olds trying to be 31-year-olds. That is true. I guess we, like, the stream dropped for a split second there. Your internet must have pooped. Yeah. It seems right. Seems to be the case going all it's going around. Yeah. Internet's got a case of the Mondays. You can invite me though. Yeah, I sure can. Let's sure get over that. Can. Get over that computer terminal, you know? Uh yeah, that's the one. For real though, can they suck your guts through the tube? No? I never put my butthole up to one of those, so I was just kinda curious. I don't think they suck that hard. I don't know. I'm done with this beach conversation. I'm just, okay. I accept that I'm in the wrong because, like, a lot of people really like it. I'm just not for it personally. Um, oh, do you want me to use mouse and keyboard? All right. Fine. You want me to back out? No, that's fine. I'll just use mouse and keyboard. 
I mean, I'm I'm not against speeches. Like, I've if someone decided like, I'm not going to use mouse and keyboard. <laughs> <laughs> okay, just just invite uh, me wait. again. Wait, just hold. This. Oh, you you don't have to be. Yeah, invite me again though. No, Nick. Why? <laughs> I had a I had a problem. Okay, there we go. You live in Vancouver. It has so many nice beaches. Why, well, like? You know, I will bike down Spanish Banks and Jericho Beach in the seawall. I like I like biking along the beach. I look at it and I go, this is very beautiful. Everyone, some people in chat, not everybody, are going, Edel's never been to a good beach. I've been to good beaches. I've been to Hyundai Beach in uh, Korea many a time. It's probably one of the best beaches in the world. That's why everybody flies to Busan and goes to Hyundai Beach. It's just not for me. You made a car dealership about that. It's like there's there's a joke in there somewhere that I, I can't tease out because of pronunciation, but the best speech I went to was in Cozumel. Very uh very pretty. The bluest water I've ever seen. Compared to Galveston the though, anything's good. If it's blue water you gotta Ooh, watch the fluoride, I hate man. Galveston so much. This is the beach, man. You dude, go look up an image of Galveston like beach. Galveston Schlitterbahn. That's pretty good, but now just go look at like it's brown. It looks like someone just filled all of the water with brown. You know what they say? <laughs> if it's brown, suck it down. It's like your toilet after a chicken smarmy. Yeah, right, dude. You're not even wrong. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. And see, someone in chat with this. from from Houston. He's saying Galveston's brown. It looks like a toilet. Austin, what's your least favorite slang word for referring to the female genitals? army i don't know it's got to be a real one maybe like i don't know vagina and pussy are fine <laughs> those are fine i don't know why rob's got such a fucking i'm with you on that one anger boner against pussy that's one of the that's one of the only okay ones it's like a nice soft cat i like it all right when you phrase it like that i sort of understand where rob's coming from Oh, that's rude. <laughs> Cooter's too funny to be like bad for me. That's Red Cooter State Dirty is not Talk. My favorite. It's just it's funny. Like it's just funny. Snatch, snatch is pretty bad. See, there we go. We all three of us came to snatch independently. Oh, clunge. Yeah, but we yeah, don't that's use that. That's like a that's like a European thing, right? I don't really know. I don't think I've ever heard it said out loud. I mean, gash is pretty bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Cooter is just that? such a fucking funny word. Oh, no, it's like gonna... there are people named that. <laughs> oh, so I. Kate I don't and know, I it just doesn't grab me. Kate and I went out to this sushi restaurant last night, and uh, we—it's kind of in a weird neighborhood of Vancouver, and there are some they are a little more, you know, a little rough around the edges, right? And there's like a 30 year old dude outside of the sushi restaurant doing tricks on a razor scooter. And I was like, that's 30? that's weird in like a like a like a horror movie sort of way. Like you're like that's just an odd combination. Is like a man approaching middle <laughs> age doing tricks on a razor scooter. But then we went in and we were like eating. And then that dude on the razor scooter came into the restaurant and asked for some water from the you know the hostess. Oh, and she was he like, got all worked up. He was, he was sweaty, and he was going, please, I'm, like, very thirsty. And she's like, yeah, don't worry about it. I'll give you some water. And he goes, cool. By the way, this is my scooter, Scooter. And <laughs> I, looked at, I looked at Kate and went, what's going on here? But then he also said, <laughs> apparently, I guess he was not a patron of the restaurant, but he said, uh, hey, thanks for the water. Like, I'll come back sometime and get some food. And then he's like, what do you sell? And then she said sushi, and he said good sushi. And it's like, what are you? You're putting her on the oh spot. What's she God. gonna be like? Nah, it freaking sucks. Don't let he sounds like a very cheers. strange individual. He, he struck me as a little bit of a weird dude. He probably uses cooter for. Oh, his this is my word. cooter, cooter. <laughs> this is my cooter. Cooter, Me, cooter meets scooter. Hear what people are talking about when they're shopping? Because it's surprising almost every time. What do you mean? I passed by a lady talking on the phone. Okay. As they are wont to do, am I right? Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> she was uh, she was shopping. At, it was the, at the same day when I was at Target for that other story. Yeah. I don't know who she was on the phone with, but she was saying, maybe for dinner tonight we'll do the ham sandwiches. 
that sentence <laughs> in my brain. Do you see, like, this so many be, facets of that. The I'm ham the sandwich is a backup dinner. That's not a dinner you plan for. That's a dinner that happens, you know, when you had to go to the emergency room. She, that phrase makes it seem like she already has ham sandwiches made, almost. Not only, because the expression, <laughs> the ham sandwiches, is like, they've had those before for dinner, and yeah, then like, those ham sandwiches were really good. Like, can we do the ham sandwiches for dinner tonight? That's my hey, favorite... The way to like order food at a restaurant is like, you know, I'll have the and then meat product. Uh -huh. that's, that's how you know you're at like an upscale place when there's only one dish for each kind of meat. And then you go, I'll have the, the venison. I'll have the ham sarmi, please. No. <laughs> when I heard her say that out loud, my brain locked. And I was like, this is the thing I'm going to tell them on the show. This yeah. Is, yep. No, that's a good one. It was. <laughs> It was a code language? No, I don't For what? buy that. That doesn't make any sense. She telling me that's code for Nookie? Maybe it was a Cubano sandwich? Maybe it was a Colombian sandwich. What about a ham sandwich can make it a V oh, dinner? Me. Yes, ooh, I'll have a Le Sandwich du Jambon, s'il vous plaît. Oh. Merci. All I could imagine is just probably three or four kids at home that are like, I really want ham sandwiches tonight. Maybe they had a big meal the night before that involved a giant ham and they had leftovers. Uh, you know what? I would accept yeah. that. No, that might works. be one of the only stories that's going to work as an alibi. Dude, someone in chat actually brought up something that I think we could transition to a good topic on. Menus. Too long? Speak on that. I don't like menus that just have the fucking name of the dish on it and the price. Mm. I hate this. I mean, that you you mentioned that before in like a sushi context. Yeah. I, I agree with you. You know, if you don't know what agadashi tofu is, you see it on a menu, you're gonna be like, what the heck is that? You're gonna have to open up like a separate tab, go to Wikipedia. Oh, they, let me get my freaking, you know, cookbook out, see what ebi sunamunu is. Honestly, I'd rather take Chili's, like, book of, like, pictures and descriptions and scroll through that than, a, like, one piece of paper with a bunch of names on them. Because I got time. When yeah. you're at a place, when you're about to order, you have time to scroll through a book. I have, and it, it drives Kate up the wall sometimes. I barely, in this day and age, look at a menu before I order food. Because here's what I find, is that... I, I ask myself, I, I know nothing about the food at this restaurant. It's like you're, you're playing a game with incomplete information. You're like, oh, I wonder what the best thing on this menu is going to be. So I think you just psych yourself out. So what I do is I just wait until Kate's ready to order, and then we call over at the server. And then she orders, and while she's ordering, I look at the menu and go, that's my thing right there. I give myself approximately 20 seconds to decide what I want. And then I, I go would with it. I would fucking panic if I did not that. not have taste in what you want that day? I like everything, dude. You, I, I'm so fucking anal when I'm ordering food. Like, I, do I want this? Do I want this? I'm gonna spend all some money. Do, do I, this is what I want? And then I fuck, I end up changing it like right at the last second too. Like, if I only gave myself 10 seconds, I would just explode. That's the thing though. You gotta, you gotta nut up. Otherwise you're gonna be taking 45 seconds to order there. No, I, I make sure I have... That's my other fear, is I don't want her to come and be like, all right, what do you want? And I mean, be like, I don't know. But you, that's the thing. You don't know. You just choose something. I do know. I always get it in time. That's why I give myself <laughs> plenty of time. I mean, you thought you died with me. Did I once go, I don't know? I don't believe so, no. Exactly. I was... I always panic, though, even when I know I have time. But I, like... I don't know. I sort of feel like my first instinct's usually right on a menu. Like, if I'm at a place and there's, like, 12 burgers, I'm not going to be like, oh... I should have gotten the Jim Beam burger, but I got the Jack Daniels burger, and I'm unhappy with my decision. Have you ever ordered the wrong thing and then immediately regretted it, but then eaten it anyway because you didn't want to cause a fuss? I think in my entire life, I've only had like 1% of meals at a restaurant I was unhappy with. I think I'm easy to please when it comes to food. Me too. Yeah, I had some food that had a, a big old hair on the top of it, and I wouldn't have even sent it back if not for the people I was sitting with at the time. Like, to, to wait, I can relate to this, I think, but let me tease it out. You yeah. weren't actually mad, but you had to put up the facade of being unhappy with it, otherwise it would reflect on you. 
yeah, pretty much. Okay, uh, yeah. There were shades of it being sort of a back and forth, but it very quickly became like you're being kind of beta if you don't fix this problem. Exactly, kind of yeah. Your, your pride's on the line. I'll take the beta there, man. I'm not... Like, I, I was at a restaurant one time with, uh, I would say, a family slash friend, and... <laughs> what? Just one, a family or a friend, doesn't matter which. Uh, okay, um, well... Now you've raised a whole different well, question. Is it a is it a family member or a friend? That's for you to figure out. But I don't but understand how someone could be either. Are they like an eighth cousin? No, I just wanted to keep it as vague as possible, so I, <laughs> just in case that person's watching. Oh, okay, okay, okay. I doubt that that person is, but Name you never know. Now. Um, <laughs> and we were just eating. I think it was at an Outback. Um, oh my fucking god, this flower. And uh, he sent. A steak back because he didn't like it. Mm. You can't do that. Bad. And I, I was just, I was sitting there eating my meal because feeling so awkward because it was like a ten minute conversation with the, the waiter and the manager came out, and I was just like, I, just stop, just stop. This, this doesn't matter. It's an Outback Steakhouse, and you're a relatively wealthy person, so mm. it just doesn't matter. You really need to get your twenty bucks back for a steak. Do they want a different steak, or yeah, did they just? Want I don't remember money? what the conclusion. I think they just wanted the the money. They didn't want to pay for. It. I can't handle that. I could. I was. I was so. Stressful. Like done. I've I been to be away from that situation. One time, Kate has sent a meal back when I've dined with her, and then, I was like, I ate some, and I was like, this deserves to be sent back. But then the, awkward interaction that happened with the server was like. Enough to make me just want to leave. This is, <laughs> oh like it was, it was pasta. It was pasta. I, I don't even remember which one's correct now. But um, it was like way too salty. It's like they dumped like five handfuls of salt in it. And it's a place you've been to a lot, so we're we have a calibration for what it's normally supposed to taste like. So we called them over and we're like, oh, you know, this pasta is like a little too salty. Is there a chance we can get it remade? And then she was like, oh yeah, that's like a. You know, that's our bad. We'll make it again for you. But then she came over and was like, are you allergic to salt? Like, would you like us to bring it out with no salt? And then you can put your own salt on it? And we were like, no, just... Uh, that doesn't even make sense. Just wow. make it the normal way that you make it. This one just had too much salt in it. Yeah, it wasn't like she ate 90% of it and then was like, send it back. This was like, you know, two bites. But I was like... I mean, that's pretty I'm reasonable. A little offended yeah. by the... <laughs> it's just too salty. Like, that's not a thing you can fix yourself, and you didn't want your money, you just wanted an edible meal. Yeah, I mean, we we stayed there for like another, you know, 45 minutes to make sure we got the meal right. And it's pasta, it's not like it's a freaking premium ingredient they're cooking up for you, so like, yeah, that's that's on them for being weird. I understand, I, will, I, will. I, I don't blame the server, but... I can remember multiple times that I've gotten the wrong dish and just eaten it anyway, just because I just don't want to handle... Dude, I'm so in for that. I just I don't like cause and situation. Ryan, I, yeah, I'm oh, I'm in the game, but I don't exist. Uh, oh, you didn't get you got the vote. Yeah, you the vote then. I I don't know. I I I will not cause it. Like if I I don't think I've said anything back ever before. So I I know that if I ever do, I'll have a good reason for it. Here's how stupid I am. Like I'm already doing the basically random menu choice to begin with, but then if I got the thing that I didn't order, I would be like. I don't know. For all I know, maybe this is way better. Let's give it a shot. Yeah. I actually just... I just don't care. Like, if if the meal has, like, fat and salt in it, I'm good to go. Pretty much, yeah. I, my, I, my body's happy. I think the, the only time I can remember is I ordered, like, a, a pasta and got just a different kind of pasta. So close enough. No worries. One time I went to dinner with some acquaintances from school and she got into a screaming match with the server because it wasn't enough food. Well, that is horrifying. That happened to me, one, not like a screaming match, but I remember going, this was with a friend and his, uh, his, his family and one of his family members was just like, was unhappy with the price of, mm. it was a buffet and they were, just didn't like how much it was for the buffet. <laughs> and I just couldn't handle it, I was like, I. No, this is not I'm okay to go. argue about. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta know going in that, that that's what it is. It just seemed ridiculous to me. I 
think after this car thing, it might be a turning point for me, and I've kind of oh, realized no. now that maybe it's okay sometimes to assert yourself a little more. Yeah, Austin, did you hear? What? Nick's the silent assassin. I, yeah. What I, happened? I either got ripped off or did something really good. I'm not sure which yet. What, I got what? a really good deal on the car, unless they ripped me off, but I don't think they did. But I wouldn't be able to tell you I don't have that experience. I, uh, I basically negotiated with the full leverage that someone can have in a situation where they honestly don't care if they get a deal or not. And it threw the other guy for a loop to the point where I ended up getting a really good deal. And a job offer. And a, well, I mean, I don't know if it was a joke, but she was like, you sure you don't want to work in the car industry? You got like a real good deal on this one. I don't know. So, I, I like. I, know. I will also. I'll. For, I'll go further down the beta train here. I'm. I'm crashing and burning anyway. I bought my car with my parents. I had them help me. Just like you. You know yeah. more how to deal with this than I do. I went by myself, and like nice. was kind of pretty nervous about the whole thing because I've never bought a new car before, and I wouldn't have ideally done it by myself. But now that I have, I feel like I'm kind of glad I did. So yeah, probably a good experience all around for me to be able to do oh. that. No man, if I got if <clears throat> uh, I, I don't think we got ripped. I mean, I, I, I don't know what is and isn't. I don't know ripped. how bad it could be. Yeah, we I, I have I have a car and it's almost paid off, so it can't be that big a deal. We put up like no fight whatsoever, to the point where like the salesman felt bad, but then it created <laughs> an even more awkward situation where like he's like. I mean, come on, guys. You got to, like, ask for something. Like, what, you want some hats or something? <laughs> and we're like, we just want this vehicle. This is internal dialogue. We just want the vehicle. So I'm going to, like, say that I I'll take the hats if it gets him to sign the freaking contract here. <laughs> and then he's like, okay, I'll get you some hats. And then when we went to pick up the car, like, two days later, we were like, as a joke, we were like, hey, where's the hats? And the dude was like, oh, shit. You like, really wanted? <laughs> we don't have. The, it's actually written into the contract that they owe us two hats. And then he's like, "We don't have the hats." And then he was asking around, like, "Are there hats around? Like, does anybody have hats?" <laughs> you gotta have them. And then uh, they didn't have the hats, so they were like, "Just oh. come back, like, when you have your first maintenance thing, and then we'll uh. give you some hats." We still do not have any hats. That's fucking hysterical. And this is why we, yeah, dude, should sue them. We'll get the car for free. <laughs> I love that. Say you want double the hats now. You want four of them. <laughs> <laughs> but I was so mad because I was like, I just want the car. I don't care about the hats. I just told you that I'd take the hats to placate you. Yeah. And then, you know, we're waiting at the dealership. Like, it was just sort of a joke. The, you know, you don't have to spend ten minutes looking for these fucking hats. <laughs> I'm not going to wear them anyway. Like, I don't want anybody to know I own a Ford. I want them to think I own, like, a, a cool car, like a Mazda. Mazdas are great. Yeah, and by the way, I know what the MSRP was, and I, I don't want to be one of those guys, but, like, I did my research before I went in for it. Nice. So, like, I know I didn't just get them placating me by saying that. I know I saved a ton of money. So, if they ripped me off, it's because there's something wrong with the car that I don't know about yet. Shit. I, uh, the only thing I did is I just, just like, give me zero interest. Give me the, the best, the lowest number oh. monthly payment. I raked zero. him over the coals over the interest too. Nice. The guy was, just... was so done with me, cause like he was like, well, I had I pre-approved a loan for it before I went there, but I didn't tell them that for a while. So he was like, of course we're gonna set you up with the the interest rate that we've got for this particular car, and it's gonna be through the Honda thing. And I was like, all right, what's the APR? And he's like, oh, it's gonna be like uh, I don't know, three point nine something like that. And I was like, no, I don't want that. I have a pre-approved loan. I can cool. do way better. Look at my credit. And he was like, no, these are competitive rates. Of course, you're not going to be able to do better. I'm like, no, that's not true. Like, I would, did not give him an inch on it. And he ended up getting me a better rate because I did that too. Can you get 0% so, interest? 0%. What kind of a year. bank is offering 0% interest? It's well, if you pay for it fast yeah. enough, you get lower interest. And a big down payment, ideally. Yeah, I put a big down payment on it, and I said I'd pay it off in three years. And they were like, all right, 0%. It seems 3. like a, nine is not competitive. That's a fucking one percent, maybe. I, you, I don't know, man. Let me put it I, this way: if you ask me for twenty thousand dollars, you can have it. Thirty percent interest. I'm not certainly not giving it to you for zero. Fucking usury. Bro. I would almost yeah, exactly. I I support <laughs> usury. 
<laughs> I feel bad for the bank in this situation. They're giving people 0% loans? I don't know, man. I. It's an incentive I don't even have a to get you to card. come do a deal. That's the point. They put it on the flyer, so you'll go, oh, this place got 0% APR. Clearly, you want to go there. I guess if the financing is through the car company, I can understand. And it is. Because it's an incentive yeah. to go to that dealer. Okay. Yeah, they make yeah. Deals no, with local through banks. the car company. I can That's, understand yeah. that. I don't know what our interest rate is, because I'm 12 years old, but I know that when we uh, got it, they were like, so you can pay for it in like three years or two years. Here's how much it'll save you if you pay for it in two years versus three, and it was like $75. Right. I was like, you know. Oh, that means you got good interest. I think so. Yeah, it does. <laughs> I don't need to have it. Hold on, I'm sorry I'm like ignoring you guys. I don't need to have a credit card, chat. I have great credit. Malf and I have had this discussion with Austin. You need to have a credit card to keep your credit up. I, I support I... Austin's decision-making process, even though I think you should get a credit card and then pay it off as soon as you make any purchases and get That is correct. You might as well, like, get some points and build credit. But I also understand where you're coming from. There's that. a variety of ways that they calculate your credit score, and one of those is maintaining a loan. Another one is paying off debt. Another one is availability of credit. So if you limit yourself in, a, in your availability of credit by not having a credit card, that's a big chunk of your credit that you're potentially not reaching the level you could be. I don't know, man. I got I got a fully paid off car. Never missed a bill payment in my life. Probably gonna get a house soon. I don't I I don't think I need a credit card. Here's what you do, and I've brought this up before. Don't get health insurance. Waste of money. You heard it here first. <laughs> Instead, <laughs> just enroll in a state university. Pay for that using your credit card. There you go. You got some free points. That's a flight or two <laughs> annually. And then go on the university's health program. Easy money. You don't even have to go to the classes. All right. Sounds like you got to figure it out. So, yeah. It's you free need, you money. Need a card. You need a credit card, man. <laughs> I, you know, I, I'll believe it when I see it. I've never needed one to this day, and I haven't had a problem. Last thing I need to get to house. If that's a problem, it's a problem. But after that, what's gonna, what else do I need? I don't, I don't know what the downside is. You have availability of credit you don't have to use. In America this weekend, last weekend, I guess, we went to a Sears. Oh. And Dying I, breed. I guess it's just the <laughs> graveyard. But we were in Sears because it was like a little chilly and we we're idiots and didn't bring like spring clothes. So Kate was right. like, I'm going to go get like a scarf or something. She got a scarf. Take a guess how much the scarf was at Sears. $24.99. Very much in the lesser direction. Oh, $4.99. It was a $3 scarf. God damn. Now let me... <laughs> I didn't know they had them that cheap. A normal transaction. Hey, how you doing today? Anything else for you? Nah, just the scarf. That'll be $3, please. Here's a $5 bill. There's, you know, $2 <laughs> back. I don't need a bag. Here's your scarf. Have a good day. The interaction we actually had was like a complex dance from like a culture <laughs> that I'm unaware of. It's a $3 purchase, okay? The dude goes, hey, you can save 15% on this if you sign up for a oh, Sears no. reward card. And we're like, nah, that's okay. I mean, like, I'm not going to ask you to crunch the numbers because I know this is just your job, but that's like a 30 cent value. And then he's like, okay, but just so you know, like, we're going to print it on the receipt so that you can get that if you ever want to get it. And we're like, okay, cool. And then he goes, okay, that's like $3.75 or something like that. Kate gives him a $5 bill. He goes, do you want to add something to this to donate to this charity? And she's like, sure, I'll just donate the change. And then she was like, how do I do that? And then the dude punched in a dollar twenty-five on the credit card reader and was like, you know, you can just put your card in to make the donation. And we were like, ah, this doesn't seem right now. Like, we're just going to pay a dollar twenty-five to make a donation even though we're not using a credit card to begin with. We have to use the card reader. So he's what? like, okay, whatever. And then... You put the credit card in for that? No, we did not put the credit card oh. in for that. But then, like... He's about to give it to us, and Kate's like, I don't need a bag. Puts the oh. scarf in a bag, fills it up with, like, 70 receipts, and hands it to us. It was the... And it actually, like, I'm understating the complexity of the interaction. It actually took, like, six or seven minutes to make this purchase. 
We we're losing our minds. Like, what is uh, happening? You should say that you're sorry that guy's about to lose his job. I mean, the Sears was dead. Yeah, as Sears will it, be. It was a Saturday at 1 p.m., and it was, like, completely Unless you're dead. buying, like, a mattress, you're not going to find anybody there. I don't believe it's his fault. I'm just saying, like, this is something organizationally is wrong with this place. See it coming to mind. I can't remember the last time I've been to a Sears. Shit. When's the last yeah. time you bought an oven? <laughs> that might be it. I have never purchased an oven. I have not either. Well, if you run out of Sears, you're gonna have a harder time. Maybe. Or just, you know, probably not actually. Go to Home Depot. Yeah, you probably won't have any. My oven's at Home Depot. I guess. <laughs> yep. Oh, they got ovens, they got microwaves, they got air conditioners. About my uh, washer dryer at Home Depot. Awesome. You might be the most adult amongst us. Buying a washer and dryer. That's like an adult purchase. Yeah, that's one of the first things I bought when I had money. I've never bought an appliance. It's nice to the best having it. Knowledge. It's not nice Is moving it. Refrigerator? It's nice no, we, well, the place we moved into was furnished, actually. Mm. Yeah, no. When you renting, like, refrigerator, oven, uh, usually are all there. That's, it's yeah, the washer weird. and dryer that are usually, like, not there. That's weird. Unless well, they have, like, a space for it somewhere in the... Complex. Let's go. Oh, fuck. Easy money. Yeah, I think Dan is definitely the most adult, but he's not here at this very moment. I bought a couch once. I feel like Twitch chat can't be like, lol, you're not an adult when they're sitting here watching the NLSS every day. Thank you. Yeah, it's just not. I, if Ryan calls me a child, he has merit. He has, <laughs> you know, stuff to go on. I don't think Twitch chat can do that. You can't be the most adult if you won't eat onions. You don't like onions? onions? I don't. I, I love onion flavor. I just hate the texture. Okay. I mean, I disagree onions, with you. Onions taste great. You know, but so like, whenever I'm biting into something and then there's like a chunk of onions and it's like, ugh, no. That's the delicious flavor crystals releasing their essence. Nah, that, that, can they release that essence without the fucking sound and crunch? I very much great. disagree with Saute you. Saute them up. Make them nice and soft. Nah, they never do. Why they did you call like your audience worms. children? I just went along with the joke. You guys know I love you. Coincidentally, your Twitch Prime subscriptions may have expired. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's better, raw onion or cooked onion texture-wise? Um, never eaten a raw onion before. Well, like, I'm not talking about taking a bite out of it. You ever had, like... I don't a, know if I've ever, like... Never had, like, a raw onion slice? Nah, like... You ever eat a hamburger? They oftentimes put, like, raw sliced red onion on a hamburger, Austin. I've never had that. In Texas? They have a lot of onions there. Raw, I'd like, red onion for no on a onion. sandwich? Oh, wow, well, that explains it. <laughs> What's your opinion I mean, on substitutions at a restaurant? How, how far can you go? What, what, what do you mean? I don't do it. I don't do it either. It may, it's too much trouble to figure out at that point. If you don't want it, just order something else. What do you mean for something? You mean like replacing See, an ingredient with another ingredient? This. Yeah. I don't want yeah. X. Like, oh, can I get the tomato X. burger, no tomatoes? I I do that all the time. I know. But I want. I, what's wrong with Explain that? It's yourself. it's less work for the person making it. Not if you're like I don't want onions, but I want pickles. And I mean, I do it with burgers. I'm not gonna do it with like. I don't know, pasta, like, I don't really like tomato chunks either for yeah. a similar reason, but I'm not gonna be like, hey, can you make this without tomato chunks, Just, this uh, tomato dish? Hold the capers, but I'll take a slice of brioche. That's, okay, I'll allow substitutions, but I don't like when people it's make a, a substi substitution. Hey, hold up a second. I don't like when people make a substitution and then try to get like a little value on added. They're like, <laughs> if I take mushrooms off of the mushroom burger, can I get bacon for free? And they're like, what do you think this is? It's too much work for them to figure that out. This is Red no. Robin, man. Like, yeah, but, but like, why are we calling it substitutions though? What else? We remove that? something. We're this adding something else. Substitution implies that you're replacing it with something. You're yeah, replacing it with matter, like just air. What if I mean, you substitute you, I a side? I, I'll allow a side substitution, but my substitution policy for sides is if you ever want a half and half, you can just get the fuck out. If you're like, can I get the half rice, half mixed greens? Sorry, we're not serving you. We reserve the right not to serve you. 
No, I'm okay, thank you. Alright, you can do so. If anything, when I sit, can I, I do not want to have a Poke Bowl. You may, though. If I say, can I have a chicken sandwich, no tomato. They're saving money. They're making more money off me than, than another customer. They don't have to put tomato on it. So you're saying then that because they make an extra bit off of you, that value should be passed on to somebody else who wants a, a higher value add? No. Are we talking about different things? I don't know. We've, we've I don't know. come at it like I'm on the violation of the social norm, and then Nick's on the capitalism side of it. <laughs> and Austin's tackling the human element. I feel like we, we, we were on the same page at the start of this conversation. Okay, okay. Things got totally out of the thing. What if you got a burger? You really like tomatoes. I know it's a foreign feeling for you, Austin, but um, <laughs> what if they wanted an extra slice of tomato? What do you think? What would you expect? Free, I think that's valid. Free or have to pay like 30 cents for it? I'm okay with like either. I don't think, I mean, if they ask for payment, I don't think you should be mad at that. I think it should be free, but also I understand if it's not. That's, what? No, that's fine, yeah, that's, I agree. It's a very negligible value, one slice of tomato. If they want to charge 30 cents for that, sure. I'll, and if they're I want charging it, 30 cents, that's like they're really min-maxing their value, okay. which they might have to. If a tomato's free, what about a slice of cheese? Cheese is more expensive, isn't it? So it's very likely they're going to charge yeah. you for that. I might expect the same. All right. It's not as divisive as I thought. Damn. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, that was slick. Somebody's got to get in there. Now what, though? Oh, let me just do that. If it's free, can I go to a burger place and just get 10 tomatoes on a bun for free? No, Dude, there's a if... limit to the generosity, obviously. But I mean, like, if if you came into my restaurant and you're like, can I have a hamburger bun with 10 tomato slices on it? I would charge you a dollar, and then I would sit there right next to your table and watch you eat it because you're a piece of shit. <laughs> <laughs> I want to watch you bite into that and have the tomato juice. You and your friends. <laughs> Send the Snapchat to Johnny. Oh, I got tomato sauce all over my Lacoste shirt. You know, like, I'm going to I'm gonna revel in that. That's a dollar well spent as far as I'm concerned. <laughs> Holds up tomato sandwich. LOL. Hi, I'm to Penguin of Doom. Oh, I can't wait. Just give me a reason, motherfucker. What's really awful, too, about that whole interaction is the part where the person who doesn't want to give you the free thing has to explain why they should be paid. Yeah. That I feel really bad about. Which is why you should never expect something free and just hope. At the sushi restaurant last night, I almost had a bone to pick, but I didn't. Kate wow. ordered a draft beer. And then the lady said, we don't have draft beer tonight, which I, if I had had more time and a greater rapport, I would have asked her what that really means. Why, why the time problem on that? The, the drafts are out? I don't understand. You waiting for a keg delivery? This is a small mom Might and pop business. have been getting the lines cleaned. I don't think this place was getting the lines cleaned. Oh. But anyway, she's like, you know, we have bottled beer. And Kate was like, all right, I'll have one of those. And she's like, cool, I'll give you a special price on it. Then, Bill comes up, $5.75, says a small bottled beer. The draft right. beer was $4.50. Oh my god, not only is it not special, it's more expensive. It's more expensive, less liquid, worse quality. I feel like we got oh, upsold. That's, and then, like, if you had just not told us you were going to give us a special price, oh. then... I wouldn't have had this that. expectation, but I had the expectation and I was summarily very disappointed. That's really expensive for a yeah. beer. Five dollars, six dollars? I agree, man. I Vancouver, agree. Though. That's like stadium levels on A, a $5.75 Canadian bottled beer is on the expensive side for here. I think I got scammed is what I'm saying. You know, I hate to keep harping on this, but I also had a similar situation with the car in that they said there was going to be a full tank of gas. Right. It was like three quarters empty. That's the other thing they're supposed to throw in, right? If the deal's yeah. getting close. The, the guy actually told me I was getting a tank of gas. He went out of his way to mention it. I wouldn't have blinked if he didn't say anything. Yeah. But it's not like I really made an issue. It was like, okay, I'm just going to stop at the gas station. $20 in the way. Why can't you just like go to a car company and be like, give me your car. That's what I'm feeling like these 
car manufacturers are missing the boat. Why are they? It's, it seems like such an old world style that, oh, you want to buy a car? Go to one of our licensed car dealerships and then get in this weird, like, battle of machismo with somebody else. <laughs> like, everybody pays a different amount for the car yeah. based on their negotiation skill. Like, it's the weirdest thing. Why don't, yeah, I was like, why don't you just go to Honda? And then Honda's like, here's the price. Well, Honda builds them. They don't sell them. They sell I, them to the dealers. Yeah, the dealers but sell like, them. why doesn't Honda Why sell doesn't them? Honda sell them? Oh my god, I keep running into that damn spike. Like, you don't go to an Apple store and be like, I want a 2017 iPod. And they go, all right, well, you know, this is the last one we got, so... <laughs> You gonna throw in message. like a lightning cable for me? You just buy the thing because <laughs> it's the 21st century. Yeah, it's a vestige of another time when people haggled over shit to try and get bigger margins. I think what it is is in this case, the margins can be so variable that they feel like there should be, a, what's the word? Like an incentive based on your ability to give good service. And that's kind of what keeps the whole industry moving is that like oh i had a really good experience it's kind of a community element and then you want to bring other people to this one place where you know they have good sales people who take care of you whereas like with lesser purchases you don't really have to feel that relationship with the place that sold you the thing I don't know. and i guess that's kind of why they perpetuated it do you, th do you think there's anything to that here's the thing i actually respect sales as a job i think it takes a lot of skill to be a good salesperson yeah. But I also think that it makes no sense in the modern era. Uh-huh. Like, the sales relationship is adversarial, right? Like... It can be. It can also be symbiotic in the right circumstance. Like... But, like, if you can get the loan from a bank, and then... Because like, people are saying, oh, well, it's a big purchase. So that's true. I agree. But, like, you could just get the loan from the bank and then do that. And then you just buy it. Sure. Yeah, that's an option on the table. So why not just be able to buy it? What is the what's, what is the dealership value? I don't, I don't think there is any. They give you a place to go where people know your name. <laughs> <laughs> All right. One time in middle school, me and my friends went to Friendly's and just got cups filled with ice cream toppings for 35 cents a piece and we all paid with a card. I'm probably being sent to hell for it. You know, I sometimes <laughs> go to a convenience store and I will just get a soda and I pay for it on credit card. My philosophy is, if you don't want me to do it, tell me. But there's no way I'm paying the $2 charge on the ATM to take out a 20 to then pay cash for a soda so you can save 5 cents on the purchase. I will respect your wishes if you tell me no purchases under $5 on card or something. But, you know, get 5 different ATMs in your 7-Eleven then so I can use the one that's my bank so I don't mm -hmm. have to pay $2 to buy a soda. Limited space so they gotta rent that space <clears throat> out. 7-Eleven's doing fine though. I'm sure. And that's why 7-Eleven has never put up a fuss for me to uh, to purchase something on cards. How do they so. still sell them sodas for that much, though? It's a loss leader. It's literally a leader. <laughs> hey. A loss leader! <laughs> a loss leader! There you go. Oh, I'm proud wow. of myself on that we should one. end the show there. That was too good. <laughs> yeah, Save that's that fine. One Let's end Twitter. the show. Uh, all right. I'm running ads, but we can we can get golf started. Sure. Which golf? Your friends? Yeah, gold with your friends. Didn't that one have a new map? That's what I heard. Golf with your friends. Thank you, Mr. Kreider, also for the subscription just now. This you man... should ask Rob about the time when he got the free food by saying it was his birthday every day. See, that's not okay. <laughs> Although He's one time I times. did do exactly the same thing. We went to a Canadian chain called Montana's. I think you're you're probably noticing a trend with these Canadian restaurants <laughs> that they're they're always named after an American place for some reason. Yeah, that's but, weird. But um, we went to Montana's and I said, "Hey," I went to the bathroom and then went, "Hey, it's my friend's birthday." You know, the guy with the short black hair. And then <laughs> later they came back and they give you like a pie. And then when they put oh. it down at his table, he was like really embarrassed. They put it down at our table. He just shoved the pie in my face. No. He pied me. 
And I was but like, you know what? You the pie and goodwill. I was mad, but I was also like, I deserve that. <laughs> what about the cleanup? I had to clean it up. Yeah, that's fair. Fucking got him. Oh, Mr. Kreider had a freaking gold sub. Gold! <laughs> Spam your gold, man. If anybody else got one, I know there's at least gold. one other one. All right, I get it. Brian, are you going to have 10 and $25 emotes? Yeah, like eventually. In three I years. <laughs> I added like seven more emotes. You did. Last I'm proud week. Of you for that. And you've still got like 28 more. <laughs> I'll check right now. I think we crossed another threshold on Monday, but I don't know. You almost can't stop. It's like a snowball now. I still have a fucking slot I'm not using now. Let's see here. Emotes. Juicy slots. <sighs> Do, 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 do. Yeah, I have 15 emo slots open now. Jesus. I'm telling you, different lettered snakes. <laughs> You'll just take care of those right away. If you just be like, hey, emotes, I'm sure you'd get enough. I guess technically I have 17. Because there's the $9.99 and the $25 yeah. one as well. It's, a, it's a real problem. Like it's probably the biggest stress of my life. As you make more emotes, more people subscribe, and then it opens up more emote slots. So you got to do more work yeah. and make more emotes. It's like, come on. It's very sissy. I got some new emotes. I saw that. Is that Randy from the Trailer Park Boys? Randy. Oh, that one. I thought you meant mine. Oh, that's what we thinking. should get a 16 part emote, but make the 16th part a $9 or $25 subscription. <laughs> that's the. <laughs> like, they give Put you. Put it in the middle, actually. Yeah, Dan's shirt is like the $5 subs, but if you want his face, <laughs> it's the $25 <laughs> subscription. Oh, man. That's perfect. Genius. All right, I put the stuff in the Discord. It might just oh, be the three of us. Just the three of us. We can make it if we try. That's really good. Uh, you should sing Overkill, Nick. Honest. That uh, is not, I don't think any of us here could sing that. I don't know what Overkill is. Oh, it's really good. I know Project Overkill, the PS1 game. Nick, you know it because it was on Scrubs. Oh, it was on totally Scrubs. It was on it's Scrubs. The one that goes, and then I'll walk the streets. Think uh, I don't know the words. You know, no, no, there's little yeah. variation. Yeah, dude. The but names, there's pretty lights. The names on these goddamn accounts <laughs> are the servers. What is happening? That put me on a kick. Like I had, did this programming assignment last night. It took me like eight hours. I listened to the best of Men at Work like nine times. Wow, there's they got some good songs. I oh, was surprised because what I I was like, oh, that's the guys who did that Down Under song. Yeah, a week oh, ago yeah. I was like, who could have been now's good and Down Under's all right. Now I'm like, these guys have like nine great songs. It's crazy, man. Colin Hay. They got a, a one that's actually stupid what? in its name, I mean, but it's really '80s and kind of good in a Final Countdown sort of way called the story of. Dr. Heckle and Mr. Jive. <laughs> I saw that one and I thought that's the stupidest thing ever. Yeah, but it's kind of like it's got like a little sticksness going for it that I'm kind of oh, for. Shit, I'm gonna I'm gonna hit it up after this then. You've and got dude, me interested. Then like the last song is like uh, Down by the Sea or something, and it's like an actual like good. This is a low sort of thing here. I got three strokes in the first hole. <laughs> oh, you did too. Yeah, me too. Thanks, I'm Bill, still used to golf it so. <laughs> I hope we do the new course by the end. Oh, of the yeah, episode. sorry. This is That's a warm-up. Right. We'll warm up this one. Uh, Hail Gaming, I don't know if I should ask Brian about that because I don't know if he wants to talk about that. Oh, good. Has to do... I don't know if it's even a thing. It might have just made it up. Uh, somebody in your life has a weird tattoo. Don't even start with me. <laughs> oh, <laughs> fucking Dan. That's My mom does not have a weird tattoo. My mom has a tattoo. And on principle, I stopped giving Dan... Anything. I won't give Dan anything. Even if he asks for innocuous shit, I won't give it to him because it just reinforces that he should ask for it. So I, I, I was so confused that I remember that was just on the Battlegrounds episode. Oh my god, that's funny. Oh god, he does that. He'll take a sentence that you say 
and add shit to it and pretend that's what, the, yeah. what you said. So then you have to offer up the real information, otherwise exactly. the misinformation takes off. <laughs> you know, I heard your mom has a tramp stamp of, uh, you know, it says exit only on her butthole. I'm like, no, Dan, it doesn't say exit only on her butthole. <laughs> this guy. You orange cock a 17 for the eight months in a row to a prime subscription i'm i'm on to his game the problem is that like there's always fresh oh, meat for dan like we're mm -hmm. wise to it now but someone usually bear is he's a sweet boy <laughs> and he'll answer all of dan's questions it just keeps giving him more fuel for the fire everybody has to band together and form like a, a cartel of no I'm, 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 I'm with you, man. No I, I stopped a long, not a long time ago, but I'm done giving Dan things. I don't Because you think, anything. he asks like a, such a simple question that you don't think it could have any kind of swing to it. Like, oh, what's your favorite cereal? I'm like, oh, you know, I really like Lucky Charms. It's like, oh, so you're really into Irish women then. Huh? <laughs> yeah, the red-haired persuasion. Like, it's like, what? No. How'd this happen? What's funny is I that am. Dan sends us messages on Discord all, and Skype all the time. And he goes like, hey, don't share this, but... <laughs> and like you can't have it both ways, buddy. Well, I mean, he's I'll, tempting you. He's trying to figure out who are the ones that'll share it. You know, we're steel traps. I, re I respect uh, his yeah. industry secrets. But then, if you mention like anything about Dan's life, you'll be like, you know, oh, you know, Dan, uh, he lives in Michigan. He'll immediately jump into the call and be like, hey, can we stop talking about our personal <laughs> lives here? <laughs> I can't. I don't. I don't want to reveal what it was because that's disrespectful. But yeah. I finally saw a salty Dan. <laughs> at PAX. There is oh, something really? that you can that gets him going and he was not happy with, with one of us. I won't say who it was, but I was I had never me. seen it before in my life. No, it wasn't <laughs> I know I wasn't there. <laughs> oh shit, yeah, you played me good there. I didn't know I yeah. You got him. Stupid that idiot. I was I was blown away. I didn't know that could happen. You know he's joining this call soon. That's true, yeah. So. You can, if you bring up Julie Chen, he, he clams up real quick. <laughs> he did actually ask if what was going on for the third segment, which I thought meant he was around. Oh, is and that he what he meant show up. when he said, at least there's... Wait, are there good segues today? I couldn't parse I that in time for the show. Like I assume that's what he meant, but maybe I'm wrong. No, I think you're right. I just didn't... As soon as he said, are there nice segues today, I was like, I don't know what that means. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Caution Child, for the three months in a row. Oh god, I want to see a Cam versus Dan fight. No one in NLSS knows who Cam is, but... I watched him uh, on your Battleground streams, like, a week ago Wait, I don't know who Cam is? No, you do, but I meant people in the NLSS uh, chat. Oh. The viewers. Only very few of them know the magic that is Cam. He's basically... There's a there's a quote in my chat that just says, Cam is Dan Giesling if he didn't win Big Brother and was eight times more Dan Giesling. <laughs> The That's voice cool. he jumped into when he was talking to those people that were in the basement. <laughs> yeah, that was really good. <laughs> he's uh, he's great. Sucks he's he Canadian. Streaming. Is he Canadian or did he he's, just live in Canada? He's Canadian. He's Canadian. He went to school in America. That's how I met Rob. That's weird. He yeah. made it seem weird that he was in Canada when he said that, though. Which, as a Canadian, I would think it would be kind of the default position. I don't know, maybe most, I'm missing something. Most I'm pretty Canadians sure are in Canada. I think that's correct, yes. Yeah, and that's what I thought. But he seemed surprised that he was in Canada. That's weird. Yeah. Maybe maybe yeah. he doesn't like Canada. I don't know. That's stupid. There are people who don't. Believe. That's fair. You like what you like, you don't like what you don't like. Yeah, I mean, hey, it's a fine. picture of Ruka just came up on my Steam. <laughs> <laughs> that's fun. On your Steam? <laughs> Yeah, somebody has a picture of Ruka as their profile picture and just logged on. <laughs> it's not, it's <laughs> not me? No, it's not you. Get that my photo Discord out of here. That. No, <laughs> dude, I have like five people on my Discord who have your cats as their picture. I, I already That's said like it on nice Skype. I, on Skype, I was very surprised that nobody responded to this. But like at 2 a.m. last night, that tweet about Ruka started to make its way across international waters. And I got a tweet that was like, and I looked and it was someone that didn't follow me. And that's what I was like, this thing's going viral. But it was like, gracias el gatito. And then like, por favor, la dormir de la nuevo. And I was like, this lady wants sweet dreams for tomorrow. 
Did she? Why? Why was she so loud? She was in all caps. Oh. I learned a little right. bit of Spanish. I was like, I know gato is cat. Gatito must be like little cat. Oh, so the streaming hardware is the cat. Exactly. I didn't know they called it the cat. They should call it the oh, doesn't fucking work. <laughs> I agree, but I did get a stream deck the other day, and that thing's pretty cool. That's the thing you press the button, and it does things. It has macros yeah. stored in it, right? Programmable LED buttons. Dude, mm -hmm. I'm like actually into that idea. It's that not sounds bad. cool, yeah. I don't know if I would ever get one, but that seems cool. It's kind of expensive, but I think it'll pay for itself in convenience. Well, it's like it's 50 bucks, right? No, it's 100. It's 100 bucks, okay. It's a little expensive. Bucks. But like, but you it know, is LED buttons with pictures you can customize. So that's cool. It's more uh, value than the order eighteen eighty six too. Reddit says that it's just for noob streamers. So that's stupid. Look at my fucking Twitch channel. It's got a, like a stretched out logo <laughs> as my <laughs> offline image that I set up in two seconds. Don't you let anybody. Art, don't let anybody stop you. You can power through just with sheer force of will and like bullshit conversations. If you, if you got the if you got the power of personality, you can do it. Or at least you could have done it like four years ago. Who right. knows no, these no, days? That's a good point. Yeah, like yeah. Every, this is all saturated these days. Sometimes I'll be like watching Twitch. I'll be like, this dude's crazy funny. I'm really glad he didn't start his show in 2013. <laughs> I'd be oh, yeah. screwed. Like Cam. No, Cam was going places. He actually like. He we we got Cam to start a YouTube channel and we were all doing YouTube. Me, Rob, our friend Green, and all them. And he like started catching all of our subscriber numbers and was like <laughs> passing us like instantly. But then he just didn't like it very much, so he stopped. But he was he was going places. What an idiot. He had prank phone call videos, right? <laughs> no, he had one. One where he just someone called him on Skype that he didn't know, and the person was just extraordinarily quiet and like speaking gibberish, and he was trying to like hear what he was saying it's it's I, cam is the, like, cam is like dan he'll get a random skype call and be like you know and said oh this person might hack me no he's like no this is uh let's see what this guy has to say at its face that story sounds like it would be a really stupid video but it's actually really funny because it's Cam's hilarious really funny. thank you mick nick for the twitch prime subscription new level new oh, oh ancient, ancient. <laughs> Ryan, you know how look at that you knew it's it like Uber Eats. yeah and then we have one, and then I signed up, I looked up the list, I'm like, this is the whole new world. Oh, that's good. There's so many places oh. that... Oh, you're gonna start ordering food now. Oh, hell yeah. I can't... Don't, we have to not order too much, because I still need to make fun of Austin for ordering takeout don't, don't twice just, a day. Yeah, they don't like... <laughs> Once a day. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hold in one of my first rice. Sight red, motherfucker, sight red. What do you eat for your other meal, Austin? I usually I reverse it. I'll have like a big dinner meal and I'll order it, and then I'll have like a lunch afterward. I see. <gasps> oh, oh, we're not supposed. To you got to land on the spine. Did you guys see the eggs? Oh, oh fuck me. It seems like a pretty sick course. You should go to the hospital. Where am I? He would oh. know. <laughs> he almost died. <laughs> Killed by a sandwich. You know, you're so lucky you didn't die. Because, like, yeah. if you had been killed by a sandwich, the nug jokes would have been out of control. They're already out of control anyway. Yeah, but, though. like, if you died, people well, there would have been a. I would have been dead and didn't have to hear them. Not there would have been a moratorium for, for, like, maybe a couple of months, and then later we would have been like, hey, remember we knew that guy who got killed by a fucking sandwich? What an idiot. Oh. What, what's going on here? This what? one's crazy. What? I thought we were going in that little hole. <laughs> Do we have to go up it. up the top? You have to go up. That's where I'm at, yeah. I got pa. The first time through a set of holes is the most fun. <laughs> yeah, dude, you're telling me. No, the best time is when you coming. make a spreadsheet about it and then do it again. That's really fun. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, Ryan did that one. NL beat me. <laughs> He only Can't beat me because he practiced and prepared more than I did. <laughs> That's cheating. It is. Fucking dicks. <laughs> <laughs> Go look at the Tournament of Shame stats. Austin, you're exempt from this because you haven't been yeah. in all of them. 
I've got to be crushing those Tournament of Shame stats. For all the NL sucks of video games, memes, go look at the stats. And take Blade Ballet out. Doesn't doesn't count. <laughs> and any one that I was in because I won all the ones I've been in. Which which ones have you been in? You were definitely London, in the Cullen. Oh, and London and Cullen. Fudge. That's true. Like, I... My greatest moment is winning that Four Honor Tournament of Shame. Rob had like a 90% advantage two days before it. And through practice and dedication, I came through. And, and also spamming the unblockable attack, I came through in the clutch. Yeah. That was surprisingly interesting. We all had very different levels of experience on that. Four. Wow! Oh! You, oh, that's how you do it. Four this Honor is, it. is a great video game. Yeah, that's everyone's still playing play it all right? the time. It's a. Here's the thing, though. It's a great video game. Oh my god. Marble Madness You're level. supposed to jump while you're going down and you land to a different slide and get a they shortcut. They know. They know the water jump. <laughs> the developers? Yeah. They watch us play this sometimes, you know. He's done it. Ooh, he's only I like playing the, uh... one character. Yeah, well, you know, when the Patriots go to the Super Bowl, they're only playing football. It's not like halfway through they go, okay, well, now let's play some beach volleyball or something like that. You know, I don't know, halfway through they're like, oh, let's let's swap our quarterback out. And let's... <laughs> uh, let's, uh, can I see that ball for a second? <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I'm he happy the person the in the PUBG video comments who's keeping track of the kills because that really validates my frustration. I can understand that, but, like, why are you frustrated? I just I just don't want to have you know as many kills as the rest of the team combined. That'd be dude. Really nice. Did I don't know, you probably didn't see yesterday's show, but there was like a new. I got more tilted in mouth than I've ever been tilted in my entire life. <laughs> we we were super late leaving the blue, which was not anybody's problem or anybody's fault in particular. But then like he and Kate got on a motorcycle, Mal flipped the motorcycle on uneven ground. Also not really his fault. Those things are unwieldy. But then this is where like the tripling of tripling down on mistakes comes he goes to try to pick up the motorcycle while it's still flipping the front tire catches him on the jaw and knocks him out and then <laughs> they're in the blue at this time he's like kate res me so kate reses him and then as soon as he gets up she gets on the bike and goes to leave because he doesn't have any hp so she thinks he's gonna die anyway he pulls out his gun and starts shooting at her as she drives away like, for one, but I was coming back for him, so I'm sitting there dying in the gas while he's taking shots at my wife trying to kill her. Anyone who resorts to team killing, just, you know, that's that's too much, man. That's, you, 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 you can't let your emotions get to you. Mouth is lucky that he's the world's most wonderful man, because I can't stay mad at him. If Mathis had pulled that, I would have been like, listen, motherfucker. Can't be friends anymore. Yeah, that's too much. You're disrupting the atmosphere. But with Malph, I was just like, what do you expect? He did also say my wife has a nice bush, which I... <laughs> what? I took as a little disrespectful. Is that true? Okay, I'm not going to answer that question. <sighs> that he said that. It is true that he said that, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Is this, yeah, it was on yesterday's stream. It's called The Ultimate Life and Death Fight 3. <laughs> There's too many little caps that keep bouncing oh, me the wrong the way. Fuck. Yeah, I'm back here. Hey, Nick. This looks like a land down under right here. Where women this, blow and yeah, men chunder. Something like that, right? Well, he's, he's, I think he says plunder Whoa, the first time and then chunder the second time. <laughs> he just what smiled and gave me a Vegemite sandwich. I don't know what chunder is. Yeah, I don't know either. It means throw up. Oh, freaking... really? That's Australian vomit? I think so. I can't... The jump doesn't work when I go forward. It only goes when I go backward. Wait, what? Yeah, no, I did not get the jump. Oh, you got to tap it very lightly, and then you'll oh, catch I, it. I made it up. Oh, okay. That's... Uh... Did you know, because this is... I'm not a caricature... Or, sorry, I am a caricature of myself. But uh, after I was listening to Men at Work's Greatest Hits for enough time, I looked up Men at Work's Greatest Hits on Wikipedia to learn some stories about these guys. And, uh, you know, they got sued 
because of the flute lick in Down Under. Apparently, is heavily inspired by a traditional Australian folk song called the Kookaburra. But here's the thing. Oh, I know the Kookaburra. They didn't get sued when the song came out. They got sued in like 2009, 27 years after the song came out. There was a trivia game show in Australia that was like, what song does uh, Men at Works Down Under steal from? And then the person said, the Kookaburra. And then they got the question right, and then somebody like mailed the license holder of that song and was like, hey, did you know these guys stole your song 27 years ago? Talk about being a freaking narc. <laughs> 27 years later, you you sue them? That's out of That's control, what? man. Did you listen to the Kookaburra and hear no, it? No, of course not. I just listened to uh, Down Under like 30 times the on, Kookaburra on Spotify. Sits in the old gum tree. Uh, eating all the gumdrops he can see. Stop, Kookaburra, stop, Kookaburra. Save some drops mm. for me. Mm, give me a Vegemite sandwich. And he said, oh! <laughs> is that the right Kookaburra song, or is there another one? Dude, I don't know. I don't want to get sued. Yeah. But low-key, low number one, overkill. Number two, who could it be now? Yeah, I'm 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 in agreement with you. Number three, I think, is you know. This is the story of Doctor Heckle and Mister Jive. I want. I'm gonna listen to that one, man. You should listen to the like whole. Really interested. Listen, it does. That's the thing. It sounds a lot like Rush. <laughs> it sounded like Rush. It's a little proggy. You should. You should listen to. We gotta stop with the Y's at the end of words. I just. Uh, we're gonna make another mistake one day. Like we gotta stop. First time for everything. Go, go listen to the best of Men at Work, Austin. I'm not saying every track on that's a banger, but there's like, there's probably like six bangers on it out of 15 tracks. That's good. I mean, that's solid. I mean, it's it's a pretty bad hit ratio for your greatest hits album, but like, it's the bangers are pretty banging. That's good for the 80s, though. Um, we're going that's in ice. a time of one hit wonders. Pipes. What? Oh. I went in the pipe. It's so good. Oh my god, it's happening. Nick, while well, you're speeding away! <laughs> oh, they're gonna get sued for those plants, though. Not for the pipes. Did Not you know plants? Men at Work's lead singer Colin Hay joined legendary <laughs> Canadian band Bare Naked Ladies to sing Who Could It Be Now at their 2016 Red Rocks Whoa. concert? I dropped it in and swooshed. Oh my god. I wanna hear that. Listening to Overkill now, and this song's dope. That was my reaction, too. <gasps> oh, ow! <laughs> oh. That switch hold deserves one. applause, God damn it! Oh, so close to holding It's okay, one. I have my own. This is like playing Sonic 06, but fun. <laughs> <laughs> oh, almost a hole in one. How are you still on your first stroke? Just okay. real good. Knocking that my door. Go ahead. Where's those claps coming from? <laughs> I have buttons with sound voice. effects now. <laughs> oh my god. Do you control it with your foot? No, it's just buttons on my desk. I just press them with my finger. Can I get a foot pedal? I could get a foot pedal. I mean, I have a cord karma. I could fucking hook that shit up. It was a cord karma, and can I order it from DoorDash? It's a synthesizer, and it does anything. Oh, Did dude. You, someone, chat was telling me there's a program online that, like, I don't know if it, like, hooks up to, like, one of those, but it lets Twitch chat donate or pick your meal for a day. <laughs> <laughs> what? And so they, they donate, and they pick the meal, and, you, and it delivers it to you. That's the next step. I just thought, like, it sounded like a thing that would be hilarious oh. to do once, but the scummiest thing to do over and over again. I heard they could buy you pizza, and it's, like, officially a thing, but I don't know about the other stuff. Yeah, enjoy a lifetime of Sarmies. I, that's, yeah, no, we're not, we're not doing that. <laughs> oh, man. Ooh, food's food. I could use a protein. Everyone always talks like protein is this, like, magical nutrient. It is. It makes everyone you talks like it vegetables are magical. Okay, nutrients. but like, they're important. But protein is the easiest thing to get in the world. Whenever people are like, yeah. "Oh, I, I eat yogurt because it has protein in it," I get if you're a vegetarian. If you eat meat, how are you starved for protein? I don't understand. 
Mean uh, stuff, man. You gotta live with that guilt every time. <laughs> you know what? I actually respect that. I'm not saying proteins are overrated. Protein, you know, it's the best macronutrient, no question. Give me that all day, any day. I'm just saying. Don't you get this NL hates oh, poor no. people. This is yogurt is one <laughs> of the yuppiest foods, you scumbags. Yogurt's expensive. Yogurt is a pricey food. I'm just saying when people are like, you know, ooh, hey, this uh, one serving of butter has three grams of protein. It's got protein in it. That's madness. I, I oh. agree with you. All right, just making I sure. Plus, you just, just hate why? people who are like, just oh, sure. you, you, you didn't eat fucking eight heads of lettuce yesterday. Looks like you're going to die now from lack of nutrients. How many servings of vegetables do you eat a day, Austin? If you had to... Probably, like, maybe half. Half of, of one serving. A day. What, Are what you have averaging you... two, two days worth into one? What, what have you eaten today? I haven't. You haven't eaten after the stream. You haven't eaten anything no. today. I have a, a nutrition shake in the morning. Oh, okay, yeah. Are you a Soylent man? Nah, it's, it's, it's Is just that a boost? nutrition. Is a boost? It's like a boost, yeah. Is it like an, an insure? insure? It's an insure, yeah. Nice. I didn't want to say it because I want to be everyone like, yo, you're old. You're old. Well, there's Kate eats the meal replacement shakes from time to time. I don't get it, though, because, like, I really like eating. I do, too. I just, I don't, I'm not hungry in the morning. Yeah, but, like, me neither, but I, like, love eating. <laughs> it's, like, the greatest thing in the world. I have never had to be hungry to eat. Try switching I, over to the all soylent meal plan. Maybe that'll work too. But like, that's a bit. No more solid. I, I like eating. Get rid too, of it. Though. Yeah, but like, I'm just saying, if we had a competition about who loved eating more, I don't know. That's pretty presumptuous of you. How many, how many nuggets did you eat? That has nothing to do <laughs> with the situation. This is about enjoyment of eating, not amount of eating. Oh lordy. Ah! <laughs> that hurts. So close. Yeah, I like this map. It's a lot of, yeah, a lot of good holes. Yeah, it's got on a tunka it. tunka tunka. Needs more breedy D, but other than that, it's good. Please. A oh, hole 18. We're gonna go in his bowl. <laughs> I want to go in his bowl. <laughs> Take me I'm back. I'm going between his legs. You go in his bowl. I'm going in his bowl. <gasps> I'm in his bowl. <laughs> Fire alley. Oh, this puts. Oh, dude, I got a worse spot than you. Don't go in the bowl. It's uh, shit. Who would win in an eating that. contest? We've already done it. Oh, yeah, no, I mean, that's just... I, Rob, I feel bad about Rob that. and Bear would win in an eating contest. They got it. But who would win in a taste real test? Science like that. <laughs> who would win in a taste test? Well, not you, you're not having enough servings of vegetables, man. <laughs> If I've been reading my Cosmo lately, I think the the latest scientific literature is not on your side. Oh yeah, we'll watch this dunk. All right. <clears throat> Never mind. Oh, no, I went don't over. Watch, don't watch. Is this thing's made out of uh, freaking obsidian right. or something. Chat asks, how do you get this map? You have to go to the experimental build. Uh, go to your Steam properties for that game, and then on the end, on the far right, there's a little drop-down menu. Set, set it over to experimental, and it checks. Oh. <laughs> okay, there we go. I go. Oh, I'm throwing. I can't get in there. Oh, I can't get in there. How do you feel about Grand Funk Railroad? Well, I like that song that goes um um. Wait, they didn't do Funk 49, did they? That's a different. That's the James Gang band. What does Grand Funk Railroad do? Uh, let me let me tell you. I forgot the the name James of the song. Gang band. They got that song. It's like, their their big one is uh, we're an American band. Oh, how many times have we had this conversation? What? Oh, hey, so one. Yeah. Zero. I mean, I've never heard you. No, we on that have, song. we have had this we've had this conversation about American band. We haven't. We talked. We have not talked about American Band. We've talked about American <gasps> Mode. Is it because you're Dunk? Excuse me. Dunk. 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 I mean, we're playing it. We've never talked about. But what is what is wrong about American Band? I, don't, I just we don't play it here. We play American Woman. So what? Do you... Okay. Oh. oh it's like, oh, it's a basketball hoop. Hello. 
How? How do we get it in that? I guess you gotta you gotta jump at the uh... jump. Oh yeah, it's just a jump dunk. The ball's actually. <gasps> oh, I almost had the three pointer. I'm going for it again. For three. Oh. For no, but see now, now you're gonna. I don't know if you'll know that this is a grand funk song, but I'm sure you'll know this song, okay. and it's amazing. It's the one. She's some kind of. Oh, now that's a, that's a decent that's song. It. That's grand funk. My baby, my baby. Yep. Yeah, that's a good one. There's nothing that's wrong with that song. song. My baby, my baby. He's done it. Why is your room called Mr. Bathroom? Yeah, I wasn't really thinking about it when I made it. <laughs> Mr. Bathroom, I didn't even notice. Bum, 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 Got it! Mr. Bathroom, bring me a dream. Mr. Bathroom. What is this hole? This is not, this is not the this hole. This is not, not the normal hole. They have different, maybe they changed the hole and we're just seeing it yeah, for the I first so. time. What did that hole used to be for number two? That it's the one like where you spin the around middle. the spiral and then there's like the four pronged like trapezoid oh, yeah. in the middle. Yeah. Why would they get rid of that one? I was good at that one. Oh, let's go! <laughs> I like that let's go is taking over now. <laughs> yeah, someone on the subreddit was like, I don't really like the battleground stuff, you know? I don't think it's funny to hear let's go 40 times a video. And then I responded to the post and I said, let's go. Well, let's go. <laughs> Cause they're not wrong, but let's go. People got mad at me and were saying like, oh, Austin just stole let's go from Dan. It's like, he just says it cause Dan says it. And it's like, first off, let's everyone... go. Yeah, first off, let's go. <laughs> Second off, let's go has been a thing forever. It's not, Dan didn't make up let's go. And secondly, I said let's go before I had ever met Dan. Oh, watch this, Mario You're Lemire. a let's go hipster then. Mario no, I'm Lemire. just saying I didn't steal it from Dan. I. I picked it up beforehand it's fun it's fun saying let's go i say let's go sardonically it brings the team together it does I said, oh you I just wait you know pub right before the analyst says and at the end i said let's go there's one heck I've of a said let's, let's go coming many up. times long before i knew oh! it easily well that was good oh they, they changed oh, this look, one they too they flattened it out <gasps> Let's! <gasps> oh! I almost got it off the backboard. Let's... Oh. All right, all right, all right. Kobe! Oh. All in one. That's actually amazing. He's done. Let's go. <laughs> Does that count? Uh, it's up to you. They said it doesn't count. It went under the hoop and then over. They've got good. Collision logic to sons of oh, bitches. Oh, so it knows if it passes from the underneath? Oh. That's wild. I don't need a whole lot of money. This is a good song. Big fine car. Oh, let's go. Mm, I do not have let's go on my soundboard. I'm going to actually be let's adding go. a lot of... <laughs> great sounds to my soundboard so if you have any good links of us saying words you'd like to hear more this thing you can the, feel free to contact me it's on the other side of planet earth now no it's cool you got to use the jumps man what what the hell did they change the course for the dunk mode yeah it's great uh, oh oh fuck how the fuck am i thank you carefree oh. creeper for the ten dollar tip Here's to you, uh, Nick. Thanks for the hours of entertainment. You're very welcome. No. Thanks for joining us. <gasps> oh, that he almost oh, did it. Oh no! He almost did it. He almost goed. He almost goed. <laughs> he almost goed. <laughs> oh, here we go. And also, uh, let's go. Oh yeah, that's a good point. Thank you, Switch Chat. So you know what song Josh never heard before? What? The one that goes. Pump up the jam. That's Pump madness. He said he had never heard it before, and I didn't believe him for like 10 minutes until he was just legitimately like, I don't know what this song is. How has he not heard that song? I want a place to stay. Get your booty on the floor tonight. Make my day. He got mad at me. He was like, well, why the fuck would I know that song? It's an extremely popular song. It is. Back in the day. I mean, it hasn't aged too well. A lot of those songs from like the early days of 90s dance music are actually just a collection of like MIDI files randomly pushed together. 
You know, we were in the grocery store the other day. You'll never guess what banger we heard. It goes, uh, dan, 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 I have not heard that song since, like, NHL 97 or something. Of all of those songs, I think the only one I like is the one that Rob hates. That goes, Which one is that? Oh yeah, I, I know that one. Oh. Whoa. Yeah, that's the one. Whoa. Oh, oh. Yeah. You just don't go to stadiums enough, I think. I mean, I'm in the stadiums, but the Rogers Arena in Vancouver, they just play like, you know, Kesha. That's awful. Kesha outside. Yeah, Ke Kesha me outside, how about that? <laughs> Dude, is there a remix of that yet? Uh, Catch me outside. How about that girl singing TikTok, which really like exemplifies her approach to life. <laughs> hey Nick, I'll see you on the other side. Busy living or get busy scrying. <laughs> and they could call it Catch me outside. How about that? What's wrong with Kesha? There's nothing wrong with Kesha. Got to add OG Yaha. She got oh, that one got song it, with the with that dog dude. And he's like, yeah, that's that's the one I like. That's the way it goes. Going timber. <laughs> I'm going to better things that one yeah did you guys see epic sax guy made a return oh at eurovision it's, it's... did he get a new sax yeah well he uh, maybe it was a new sax i don't know but he played a new sax lick because you know the first song was like yeah the next one was like Ooh, that's like boss music i like people are like oh this isn't as good as the original it's like because the original was like a fucking six-year-old meme that you don't like because of its musical niceness, but because it's just, you, someone made a funny <laughs> clip on YouTube. It was good. I liked it. It was like beep, 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 beep. It sounds like when you fight uh, Baxter Stockman in the first level of uh, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 4 <laughs> Turtles in Time. <laughs> it does, <laughs> Y'all ready for this? Uh, it's, that's, that's what it became at the end there. Tell NL no, that no. Joe Walsh is in the James game. Really? I don't know that. You should I, call I, it the I, Joe Gang. <laughs> Yo mama. Of course I'm shit at basketball. I'm Canadian. Wow. Steve Nash likes I want to say to you. Yeah, him and uh, nobody else in basketball <laughs> history. <laughs> yeah, but he was good enough for oh. a few people. <laughs> yeah, he won like three MVPs in a row or something. Oh, how did oh, I manage to get oh. further away? I realized something the other day that changed my life. Okay. The basketball? Yeah. You know that shape on it where the the like the seams are? Yeah. It's like a smaller version of the actual court represented in circular form. Oh, okay, I see, because it's got the lines on it. Yeah. Did you ever think of that? <laughs> I guess no. not, but I can't disagree with you. But what about a baseball? That one doesn't map. It's got seams on it though too. It's got seams on it, but the basketball one only does. Does it only correctly? Does. Did you ever realize that, chat? Do you realize? Do you realize? <laughs> that's the basketball scene. lines. Basketball. That they are on. Maps to the court. <laughs> the basketball only does indeed. <laughs> uh, that was rough. Did you realize we're playing a sport? There we go. It took me a second. Look at that. They Hoop. hit it up top. Hoop. There it is. That's oh, another one. Dude, another one that chat brought up I forgot about is No Limits. What's no. that one? No, no, no limits. I reach for the sky. No valley too deep. No mountain too high. You know that one? I've never heard that no one. No Limits? I never heard it. Maybe I have, but I don't remember it. Okay, what about the one that goes, uh, da 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 Left click while in water. Well, they ruined the surprise, I guess. Yeah. Well, it's become necessary to know the trick. Look at the new water. You see that? Yeah, man. Yeah, Unity updated. It's changed everything. 
Brian would know. Heard they've recently added more one-way colliders. Oh, more, oh I thought he was going to say hops. Yeah. More Judy hops. <laughs> no. They did add more hoops, though. These songs don't exist. Oh, no, just watch. Listen to some jock jams. What? Exactly. Saturday night was super popular. Well, there's only one real Saturday night. Saturday night's all right for fighting. Yeah. I don't like that song. What? The Nickelback is cover is pretty fighters? good, though. Man, that's... uh. <laughs> uh thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, never going to be on the show ever again. <laughs> hey, thank you, Demon Stress Relief, for the 55-55 tip. Hey, long time lurker. Really enjoy the content. Would subscribe, but I feel a tip would help out more. Thanks for all the enjoyment. There you go. I mean, it literally does. Yeah. And thank I you. I can't hear. I'm not insulting this donation at all. It's a very nice okay, donation. Yeah. I'm just. I want to point out that like I can't hear anyone use the phrase "long time" anymore because of AGDQ. <laughs> and it's it. just someone made like a thing that creates an AGDQ donation, like a like a bot. Okay. And it just uses all those phrases like long time blank, first oh, time okay, blank. Yeah. Oh. It's it's good stuff. Oh, long time are... animal here. Save the frames, kill the frames. <laughs> first time uh, the greetings from uh from Metroid. It's it's great. I do I'm like uh, the drone goal. Saturday night by the Bay City Rollers. Should really so. play that song in spelling class. You're gonna know it instantly. It goes S A T U R D A Y uh, night, oh, yeah. and then at, on the third time they go through it, the bass comes in and goes like boo doo boo doo boo doo boo doo boo doo boo doo. Someone wanna oh, oh, see what happened to this hoop? <laughs> so. Something happened to it? Yeah, you'll notice when you get there. It's really yeah. short. It's a bit different. This is a tiny hoop. hoop. Oh, dude, that's a classic as well. <laughs> this is a tiny hoop. And I was just making up songs now. Oh, here's another one ah! I made up. Um, we are the champions, my friends, and we'll keep on fighting till the end. We are the champions. We are the champions. No time for losing, because we are the champions of the world. What? <sighs> Sorry, I'm reading all these paragraphs of AGDQ donations now. Chad, give me some more 90s jams. They always play them in the grocery store here. Like, there's of course a, uh huh, yeah, what? wanna be my lover. You know that one? If you wanna be my lover. I mean, that's, that's from like five years after, be my lover. It was like a call and response over the course of a half decade. <laughs> I'm not gonna have any like, Oh yeah, oh from this geez. until you like sing the song because yeah, I don't know any names of songs from this time. What okay, Austin, what about this one? I know Nick knows this one. He goes, Here comes the hot stepper, turn it up, use the lyrical gangster, yeah. turn it no. up. Big opportunity in your area. <laughs> <laughs> Still loving like that. I have not heard that one though. Dude, how though? I I don't know, man. <laughs> what about Informer. This is the song by Nobody Bedoo. Lickety Boom Boom Down. This is a song by Snow. He's a rapper from Toronto. And Licky Boom Boom Down. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. You know. don't know Informer? No, I don't listen to rap. Nobody what better Informer. Heck? This isn't rap. This is pop, dude. Pop rap or. Prep. It's rap, <laughs> yeah. It's a Canadian rapper. Yeah, what about Oh, well, then there's your problem. No, they played it everywhere in America. It I did, heard it a million times. It did take off. I don't know, man. I How does know. he not know Informer? I mean, I'm with you on that one, Chad. That's a great song. Oh, yeah, what about oh, Rhythm is a Dancer? It's the Lone Romancer. There's another lyric here. You know that one? <laughs> of course. <laughs> okay, this makes sure. You know, I don't like Josh. You know, he doesn't know Pump Up the James. <laughs> What about this one? A boom da 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 all played by you doing a cover of Corn's Freak on a Leash. What? <laughs> you, all right, wait, wait. Doing a, 
Jonathan a Davis. Bit overly ambitious. Cloned Jonathan Davis times four, doing his cornified version of Mr. Sandman. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that's really good that's like one to one yeah i'm not i'm not super familiar with corn in general i just know. like a freak on a leash you wanna see the light <laughs> i didn't want to watch that music video when i was a kid because i was worried that it would like haunt me or like make me corrupted or something yeah that's fair you know, music videos have that power. I didn't want to watch the, the thriller music video because you never know. Like, what if that's what yeah. turned them into those weird thriller boys? Power Man 5000 could cause worlds to actually collide. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not going to show, I'm not going to sing for you Kylie Minogue's Can't Get You Out of My Head. That's from like 2001. Oh my God. We got to talk about like 1993 songs. Those are the big ones. That's the year I was born. Yeah. 93? Good vintage. All those Thriller boys. A year off from Super Metroid. <laughs> Garbage oh. monster for 13 months in a row. That, wow. Almost. Yeah, thank you. <gasps> wow! Oh, it did the thing where it like bounced through off the rim like five times and whirled around and fell out. Oh no. It always does that in movies when it's like, they gotta make the basket. Yeah. My age is not a secret. Does everyone keep going with fucking 24 years old? What? Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Check this out. Let's go. Oh, <laughs> oh almost. Almost. Could have turned collision on. We could have a little bit of gold ending oh, there. It's true. I need those peach baskets back. I'm so mind flooded. I can't think of any corn songs. They got freak, on, freak a leash. on a leash. Oh, you got that one, huh? It's what year did those thirty-minute meatloaf songs? What year did Waiting for Tonight by uh, Jennifer Lopez come out? That was like '99. She goes, "Waiting for tonight, oh, when you will be here in my arms." Whoa! I dreamed of this night for so long. Sheet. <laughs> he brings exasperation. Dude, it's his his voice is like a bassoon or something. I it's wild. Uh, -ba -do -ba -do. <laughs> uh, do -do 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 the way he says day after day is kind of funny though. Day after day. <laughs> I like the part where he goes like, especially at night. I worry about situations that <laughs> something like that. Yeah. Fall and hay sound like a away cool from me. Oh, falling away from me! I forgot about that one. That was an old favorite. Round round. If you're making like a video of <laughs> trunks from <laughs> Dragon Ball Z, like <laughs> it really is falling way too specific. It's it's perfect though. It's true. Oh God. <laughs> It's your first video edit, and you gotta make it count. <laughs> I don't want to. Oh man! Speaking of old video edits, I don't know if I should say this on the analyst. There's not more people looking for it, oh, but I actually made. It. I made videos when I was like 13 years old. Uh oh. Made Halo videos. Nice. But and they 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 still exist, but no one's ever found them, and I'm happy about that. It's too late now. I mean, look. No one's found them yet, so hopefully uh, it stays that way, but. They were bad. They were really bad. You mean last year? <laughs> My chat's been trying for months to find. No one's found it. They should give up. There's like a better use of their time. Yeah. I mean, they got all this content to watch now. You guys want to like dunk one more time? Let's dunk on the... Uh... Sure. Forest dunks? What about this song from the 1990s? And I pulled in the Nazareth, was a feeling about a half past dead. You know that one? Yeah. Heard, I've heard. Classic. Oh, is this gonna be a spooky dunk? Spooky dunk? <laughs> 
Chat, see your chat's so cocky and confident, so is my chat. The reality is there's like nothing in those videos that relates to or links to me, so you wouldn't know that they were mine when you watched them in the first place. <sighs> oh, yeah, Austin, you know the Crash Test Dummies? I've heard the name, so... Were you reminded by the game looking like it crashed? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Crash Test Goaties. <laughs> you know, they had that song. What, like, what's, what, give me a song. Once there was a girl who had something mm -hmm. slightly aberrant with her visage, yeah. And when somebody saw wow. it, they bullied her a little bit, ate lunch in the bathroom, you know. I have not thought of that song in probably 20 years, and the last I, time I, I thought of it was because of Weird Al. <laughs> doesn't ring a bell for me. <laughs> Come on, go. Is that their hit? That's their big hit? They got they got three hits. The second one is, the, is you know, Superman never made any money Saving the world <laughs> from Solomon Grundy how I despair the world will never see another man. You know that one? All I right. Know. Then they got one from the Dumb and Dumber soundtrack that's like, Thank God for Peter Pumpkinhead. You know that one? These Nothing. sound like songs you would play in like the Pete and Pete soundtrack. Yeah, yeah. No, Peter, <laughs> Peter Pumpkinhead is a Pete and Pete for certain. There's no doubt. Still the same song? No, same singer, though. Definitely the same singer! <laughs> you okay? I was so close to landing. <laughs> Let's go. Oh, no, I'm straight under it now. Yeah, that's... Go through the bottom and come back down. It doesn't <gasps> work! Oh, I thought it worked. Shit, I was so excited. Yeah, it did not work. They got your number. They got you covered. Oh, my God. Atlanta, dude. What was the name of that first song? That's called. Mm -hmm. It's. Mm -mm -mm -mm. And each mm has three M's, I believe. That's really bad for Fucking SEO. God damn it. There was no SEO yeah, back then. You just, about that. You, you just get uh, top billing at Sam the Record Man. Because you're number one on the chart RPM. DJ sees the track title, he's like, I'm not gonna play that shit. Yeah, he's like, whoa, what's this song loud? called? 12,000 in Roman numerals? I don't get it. <laughs> 300, like the Romans. <gasps> he did it. Oh, you remember Cumbersome? Oh, why, why am I the only person who knows half of these songs? Nick, you gotta I, know I'm Cumbersome. Just... I was too young. I have known man. everyone you, you just have become cumbersome to this world. Something like ticket, 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 ticket. Oh man, I don't think I know that one. Cumbersome? Come on. I know Cumberbatch. <laughs> you've got all the 2000 bangers, oh. man, but 90s is just a bit too young for me. Jeez. The the cake song, that was 90s, right? right? Down, da 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 down and down and down. When I was uh, that young, I was like, I was on NSYNC and Backstreet Boys and... That was late 90s, early 2000s. Yeah. What about Savage Garden? Too savage for me. <laughs> I, they were they were pretty hard, <laughs> but if you just listen to the singles, like, it wasn't that bad. Yeah. I always thought, like, could there be, like, an acoustic Savage Garden? Just lighten it up a little bit. Just hook up the radio edits. <laughs> a little too much maturity. There, there's a great character there. Like, my mom won't let me listen to Savage Garden. Because <laughs> it's too savage. <laughs> they have that song where he says, like, I want to love you like an animal, but not in, like, a Trent Reznor way. You know, he's like... Oh, no, he says he wants to live. I want to live like an animal. I want to break free. <laughs> now, that's what a song. A dumb, what a dumb song, man. <laughs> You remember the classic porn song Adidas? I do. The funny thing about it is Jonathan Davis also always wore Adidas. Yeah, he's counterculture. He wasn't gonna buy into any of that Nike shit like a corporate shill. He wore Adidas. <laughs> <laughs> Nick oh. strikes me as a mushroom head kind of guy. Oh, I was. I like mushroom head. Mushroom head? It was the other. Band that wore weird masks that wasn't Slipknot. 
Oh. They like Slipknot too. And then, wait, wait, they had Mudvayne they had as well, Sid right? Ma Mudvayne wore makeup though. Mm. They weren't wearing masks. And Mudvayne's legit good. Stop saying it ad Adidas. Unless you're doing a Steely Dan thing. Adidas. Uh, Adidas. -ta. That's. <laughs> I'm gonna wear my like, tracks uh, now. Latka Gravitz. Exactly. <laughs> I've been thinking that for weeks. Yeah, Savage Garden has that song, oh. I Want You. It's like their, um, it's the end of the world as I know it. Ooh, I'm gonna take you to a thoroughly magical place, and it's kind of rap music, but it's a little non-threatening, you know. That stuff plays really well on the radio, I Dude. have to say. Bare Naked Ladies made it off that. Oh. Damn. Oh, they were doing stuff for years. Is that Dan doing the introduction to the Scat Man? I think so. Hey, Dan. Hey, we Dan, were talking about you. Earlier. None of these guys know what the hot stepper is. The hot stepper. <laughs> Mr. Hot Stepper? You know, he's the lyrical gangster. The lyrical gangster. In the man and the lyrical gangster. Damn Oh, this is. Is this the. No, that's not it. I just. <laughs> Mr. Bathroom? <laughs> you can't get into the game now, Dan. What are you guys playing? We're on like hole seven. Yeah, we're actually like 10 minutes. Past yeah, the show's done, game. man. <laughs> well, honestly, I, honestly, this is no memes and no lie. Like, unless you guys say, "Yeah, Dan, join." I don't join. Like a thumbs up to me. Oh, okay. Not saying, okay. You know, because I don't want to. I'm not forceful. Be like mm -hmm. Bear and join when you're not invited. Yeah. That's... <laughs> well, I don't just want to be that guy. I'll, I'll throw Bear a little line trouble. out there, but if if you guys don't bite, I'm not. I'll gonna... tell you what. I will. Um, I will do that. But I'm gonna need you to meet me halfway and write the request in the English language because <laughs> <laughs> it says, if I remember correctly, it says any nice segues today, which I didn't know how to take. No, actually, I thought I said any, any, what did I say? We have proof. Nice segues. I can no, still I, find what this says. I think it said any putters needed for Segers 3. Uh, here it is. <laughs> no, you didn't say that. You said anything <laughs> popping off today in Segway Trace. <laughs> 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 uh, Which I actually understood what that meant. I'll, I'll own up. Like, in hindsight, it seems obvious. But at the time, I just looked at it and went, what is this guy talking about? Uh, right. Yes, Chad, I do love, love the Deftones, actually. They're great. All right. If, what, if any of you guys are doing the NLSS later, squat up for PUBG. But have fun, guys. All right. Later, Dan. Uh, thanks, Dan. Later, 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 Dan. Oh. Cool, dude. Any putters needed for Sagers Segway 3? Segway Trace! Poppers. <laughs> Segway Trace, that's what it was. <laughs> this guy. Uh, what a guy. Fuck. What a guy. What a guy. What a G. What a See, that's, that's uh, going back to Cam, that's something Cam would say. He would say that in the same way. He would just pick words that sound similar to the words that he wants to say <laughs> and use those as if they were those words. Can I get extra points for going through the bottom? Because I seem to do that constantly. You definitely get extra points, but only... yeah, points are bad. There we go. Oh yeah, I want extra negative points. Is what I meant. He spelled it segue like the motion device, not yeah. like a segue. Segues. Oh Se come on! You put a collider on that thing. Oh rude. This sounds like the Ashley theme from War of yes. Wearing. You know that I one, Austin. I love. I do? Who's that little girl living yes, yes, in the yes, haunted, haunted mansion? mansion. Yes, 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 Everybody yes, yes. knows that it's Ashley. Ashley. <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually surprised, Ryan, that you knew that one. We, that doesn't seem I like use that kind of for thing. the soundtrack of every custom level I ever made in Super <laughs> Smash Brothers Brawl. Because it's the worst song ever made. It, I love how blown out the speaker is when they do the vocal part. Mm -hmm. It just isn't proper. Like, the resolution is not good for Oh, that. yeah, it is. You ain't wrong about that, mister. <laughs> Lol, the singing. Yeah, well, yeah, you know, like, <laughs> come on now. Wait till Kate's Rock Band stream. I gotta download Overkill. In the first oh, you're doing another one? Yeah, she she oh, broke her yeah. sub goal like two weeks ago, so. You gotta do some Rock Band stuff. There's some yeah. stuff that's never made it on because i always forget that it's there in dlc so we gotta do like some spinal tap for sure gotta do overkill by men at work dude dude do master exploder uh that is 
a main series song, so we do not have it. Oh, it is. You're right. I can't, isn't that weird how that's a main series song? Uh, the yeah. metal was it also? Metal was metal. Guitar Hero 3. It was hard. Yeah, Guitar Hero 3. No, wasn't it on? They moved it later on, didn't they, to Rock Band? Maybe. They did. It was a Tenacious D pack. It got pretty incestuous for a while there. They were yeah. Dude, the I would song. totally sing Master Exploder. Dude, I, was I listening think there's to, three Tenacious D songs. I was listening to City Hall last night. It's such a good song. I haven't heard it in like 10 years. You're not no. mean. Nobody, nobody. To knows. blow your mind. But that shit happened to me. All the time. Not everybody can hit that note. Jack Black sucks. Come on. Wow, oh. ban him. Ban him. Who hates Jack Black? Ban him. I banned him. <laughs> you did Next ban him. I, I banned him. Unban him. I'll unban him. But he just had to. I had to teach him a lesson. All right. He's from my town. I think. Dude. Uncan the ban. That's too far. I don't ban people for their opinions here. <laughs> That was, that was too far, though. I had to at least... But who doesn't, it. like... I can see being like, ah, I could take him or leave him, but who hates Jack Black? Come on. He's Jack Black dude. sucks. Have you seen his freaking Octagon video? That'll make you like him. Oh. <laughs> and you see inter the Internet's version of that Octagon video? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, dude. So good. Jack Black doesn't suck, video. but his acting sucks. Watch, watch Bernie, you jokers. He gives a so good playing Bernie Sanders. It didn't even seem like it was the senator himself. Saving Silverman, also. <laughs> yeah, but that is like that movie's not good. No, it's good. He's not a bad actor. He's not a good actor. He's a good he's actor. A, he's a fine actor. But he's, that's, that's what I mean, though. He's not like, you know, he's not going to win an comedian. Oscar. He's a great He musician. could win an Oscar. One he day. He could win an Oscar? He, one day he could win an Oscar. He might have been nominated for Bernie. I, I don't think he's nominated. I can't well, hear the Ashley. In Tropic Thunder, he's like, he's the worst what? of the main cast in Tropic Thunder. But, but that's because the main course. cast is so good. Yeah, and he didn't have that much to work with. He was given the role you're supposed to hate. This course is completely empty. It's just a line. I love King King. <laughs> I think that's supposed to be King Kong. but King Kong? Yeah. That's all right. King King's pretty good, too. I like King Crimson. He could never in a million years win an Oscar. Hold up, though. Was he nominated for Bernie? Go to he must have at least gotten a Golden Globe nomination for Bernie. That's a Richard Linklater film. Those things shit awards. <laughs> Somebody look it up. I'll look it up. Jack, Jack Black, Black Bernie nomination. Golden Globe Award for Best Actor Motion Picture, Jack Black. I like Kong Kong. <laughs> Jack Black being snubbed for Bernie for an Oscar nomination, one of the biggest snubs of 2013. Suck on Jack Black's Golden Globes. He just roasted you guys. I'm sure he'd be happy to let you. Oh, he got nominated for School of Rock, too? Yeah, he got nominated for School of Rock, too, on Gold Globe. School of Rock 2, they made a sequel? Yeah. Nick. College of Rock? <laughs> College of Rock! It's ACDC. Let's go, Hobie! Jack oh, Black literally only Toby. plays that one character himself. I mean, you're not entirely wrong, but somehow he still makes it entertaining every time. You guys are stupid. You only play one character, the person who has wrong opinions in Twitch chat. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Nick. Appreciate it. <laughs> Jack Black could be our fathers, and I would be happy. Yeah. He'd be a cool dad. I think he'd be a cool dad. He could get us to talk to Markiplier. <laughs> Who hates Jack Black? Okay, who's your favorite actor if you don't like Jack Black? Ooh, I like Daniel Day-Lewis. Yeah, enjoy going to the movies once every 100 years, watch him play a dude with no <laughs> fucking eyeballs. Wow, great time. <laughs> Uh, 
Oh, I only respect heavier Bardem. I'm learning Catalonian Spanish because of his role in Vicky Cristina Barcelona. That's a lot of first names. Keanu Reeves. Yeah, name. yeah. No one has ever insulted Keanu Reeves acting. He was in a really good place after the third Matrix movie. It was just like Matrix, Matrix 2, Matrix 3, and then like six months Ooh. later, John Wick. There was definitely not like a 17-year lull. Speed's a great movie. Speed is a great yeah, movie. Really and it's one of those movies that I shouldn't well. have seen, but I've seen. Ooh, because it was rated R. No, I mean like because I don't watch movies Oh, I see. That yeah, time. that's also fair. Was it rated R? It must yeah, be. Guess chops, yeah, he chops the dude's head off at the end. I don't know, but it was back then. It could be 13. They had higher and lower standards somehow at the same time. Back then, ratings. Some, uh, you know, finish the rest. Mm. I actually that cannot one. understand the love for John Wick. It's a great action movie. Chad, why are you killing all the sacred cows today? I don't understand. What's I next? I don't really have yo? much desire to see it, honestly. John Wick is an excellent, frenetically paced action movie that dispenses of the traditional tropes of the genre to make something singularly violent and also ballet esque. Is it based on something, or is it its own story? It's based on the chemistry of common life. It's just kind of weird to name your movie a name without any reference to what the name means or why. What, what about cares uh, Air Bud? Yeah, you can tell it's dog played basketball. This is a, <laughs> it's a story about a candle maker gone rogue. What about Air Budsman? The story of a golden retriever who becomes an ombudsman. Ombudsman. <laughs> It's definitely John Leguizamo's best role. What is what is what else is he in? Gamer. Oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> the Super Mario the Brothers movie. Oh fuck! He's gotta have another good one. He's uh, Mario Mario. I'm his brother, Luigi Mario. He's gotta have a good one. He's in uh, the Pest. I haven't heard of that. He plays an annoying guy. <laughs> <laughs> John Wick's a good movie. He's got three Theon Greyjoys in it. Oh, is he? Yeah. Oh, I, I don't got the Game of Thrones. Guy. I'll watch it in art. <laughs> That's not true. Didn't the second one come out, or is that like there's yeah, a trailer? It came, it came out. Yeah, Game of Thrones two is out right now. Dude, Game of Thrones season six is a month away. Or two mm, months actually, away. Actually, it's uh, eleven months ago. Season seven yeah, is two months away. Seven. I got both of the numbers in that two number sentence wrong. <laughs> 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 John, he's an ice age, isn't he? He is an ice age. It's hilarious. He plays a pest, actually. Which one does he play? He plays that. He plays the little the squirrel thing that takes the nut out, and then it fucks it up. It got the its Earth's, own series, didn't it? Fucks up the whole Earth's ecosystem for like a hundred years. Stupid squirrel. The squirrels like the minions of Ice Age. The actually absolutely true. Chad, you don't understand the innate irony of you insulting good pieces of media. So you're going, Game of Thrones isn't as good as you make it seem like it is. Yeah, but you're watching us and we're trash. So I can't take your opinion seriously <laughs> on good media. You kind of shot yourself in the, in the foot on that one there, Chad. Not wrong. You're like, I only watch Oscar nominated movies and then this shitlord play golf basketball three days <laughs> three days a week. We're Oscar Meyer nominated. <laughs> uh, favorite genre of films? Oh, I really like um Fritz Lang's Metropolis and Dial M for Murder and also watching these three fucking idiots play golf basketball <laughs> for no reason. <laughs> That's why I can't take you seriously. <sighs> God. So if you a... want to be taken seriously, unsubscribe immediately. No, don't st uh, subscribe, but stop watching. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. that's the ideal. Then Twitch doesn't have to worry about your bandwidth, and you still get paid. Exactly. <gasps> he has done it. Oh, no. This is bad. We're right under. Oh. <sighs> Yay. No, Ryan's got the right idea. Oh, yeah, too far. He does, you're right. Oh, hey, oh, Robert. Robert. Just in time. <laughs> hey, how you guys doing? 
Tell them about the story where you got free meals by saying it was your birthday all the time. Oh, I got free meals by saying it was my birthday I all the time. I got free meals. <laughs> Didn't you get your friend meals too? I think everybody uh, got meals. Yeah, well, we all somehow had our birthday at the same time, and Red Robin didn't seem to give a shit, so... It's really lucky. Yeah, no, no, it was a good time. Was it Red Robin? It was Red Robin, Yum. I think. Yum. Ah, uh, marketing. <laughs> how, was, how was the NLSS? What I miss? It was all right. Yeah? Pretty good. Yeah, I talked about stuff like we usually do. A lot of songs and car yeah. stuff. Rob, do you oh, know okay. this song? It goes, a uh, Saturday night, da who da who da who Yeah, that's, pretty uh, baby. That's Saturday Night, I think, is the name of the song there. That Parentheses, a hootie hootie hoot. A hootie hootie, yeah, hootie hootie hoot. Yeah. Do you know the one that goes, um. Uh. Yeah, that's, uh, Saturday Night, Saturday Night 2, uh, Zombie Nation. <laughs> yep, that's correct. You know who it's by? Yeah. Uh, The Zombies. Looking yep, hard. there you go. That's them. Mm hmm. I'm just, I'm, I'm very full of musical knowledge, to be honest with you. You want to take some time to pimp your channel? Oh, yeah, sure. Hi, I'm Rob. How's it going? I'm on Bagger Patrol. <laughs> I've been here this whole time. You guys, I was just very quiet. Yeah, today. we were talking with you. Yeah, yeah, yeah no. You said the just, thing uh, about uh, toilets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I remember <laughs> that. Yeah, the toilets, they were, you know, they, they, they flush. <laughs> so, <laughs> Can I, you ask me again how the show was? <laughs> how, how was the show? It was pretty good until about two and a half minutes ago. <laughs> I think I have elevated the level of humor in the last two and a half minutes, truthfully. You want to pick your channel? What are you trying to say? Yeah, I'm Outback Patrol, uh, Twitch, Twitter, and YouTube. You guys should go follow me at all those places. I'm playing Dead Cells, or I was going to play Dead Cells today, but then uh, my internet was down all day. Woo! But I'll it's probably okay. play tomorrow, so. I'm the best in the world at it now, so you don't even have to try anymore. Are you? I got to the yeah. graveyard last night. Yeah, Ooh. big deal. I saw the Black Abyss. Oh, fun fact, don't ever not have internet while playing Dead Cells because it uses cloud saves, so. Oh, uh, that's no yeah. fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I wasn't able to play while the internet was down all day, which felt great. <clears throat> Austin, you want to pimp your channel? <laughs> sure. Uh, I wasn't on the show today. <laughs> weirdly enough yeah. um no twitch.tv slash last underscore gray underscore wolf PUBG, nothing but wins you like you like watching PUBG wins come come watch it does win a lot yeah 6 p.m central time every day i tuned in the every other day. day you were doing a run with bear mm -hmm. and I, you're like eight people left i was like they're gonna win this one and then they won it yeah they win they did win they did win amazing hey, nick you want to pimp your channel yeah, if you want to check me out, I'm over at youtube.com slash rockleysmile, twitch.tv slash rockleysmile, and twitter.com slash rockleysmile. Uh, I can play Super Meat Boy with my feet. I can play platformers mostly fairly competently. Uh, I'm okay at some first-person shooters, but really bad at other ones. And I like to talk about weird stuff. So if you like uh, weird indie games and critique of those things, uh, you can watch me be the best of Dead Cells in the world here on Twitch. Sick. I'm going to hang up on you guys. Thanks for being here. Yeah. 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 Thanks for having me on. It thanks, was for, Robert. It was indispensable. Uh, yeah, I, I had a great yeah. time. Thanks on the for knowing Saturday night. Man. Great song. Mm -hmm. Yep. 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 Was... All right. I hung up on these jokers. But I was being sincere. All right. Thanks for watching the Northern Lion Live Super Show, everybody. Um, a big up to Flax is String for the cheer who said, I'm just doing this for the badge. Really appreciate it. Thank you so much. I'll take your blood money. I don't care. Uh, and then big ups to Skizard, Undertale, Game Comps, Florian Nolson, Adam Levi666, Sly Koru, Jarhead Taylor, Joel Motney, Whiskey Dick, Dafu15, Farmer Mayhem, Railgun256, Rational Shampoo, Jolie Ole, Pixie Killer Rain, Turtle Incognito, Wrestling with Subtitles, Skippo Atraxis, Compact Potato, Fizzit86, Gloombop, The TK Master, RVC Jew, Britta Nij, GGGRR55, Alpha Warmeister, NC006, Shannis234, Boutur, Fishy141, Ninja Waffleman1, V Kimpf, Wooly Crackpot, RG Luker, Papa Franku Boss, Twitch Assassin127, Bone Veteran, Donna Cell, It's Benz, One Man Left, Dolph, Dracula Lantern, uh, Dracula Lanterns. You guys know that? That might be a Canadian one. Kim Mitchell, Patio Lanterns. Look it up. Bad song. 
Dracula Lantern, cool dude though. Samuel James, Jemmy Spawns, Stavis Rauer, Main Shooter, Panderb San, Sphinx Scalay, Negative One, Blab Bear, Games for Jake, Chadion, Daenerys Booty, Project 81, Astro Penguin 642, Hroger, EP Diablo, Blinding Mantis, Rare Sense 1012, Advance Insane. A lot of them scrolled down here just a second ago. Advance Insane, an actual co-op, Canuck Dizzle, and Kevstar. Thank you guys very much for the subscriptions. Thanks for watching. Thanks for making an effort to watch the ad block. Dan is live at twitch.tv slash Dan Giesling. You can go watch him. He's probably playing Star Citizen, but he might be playing Battlegrounds. Sinvicta is probably live too at twitch.tv slash Sinvicta. Um, it's Kate's night off, but we'll be back tomorrow for her co-op stream at twitch.tv slash lovelymomo. You can follow her there. And, of course, we'll be back for the NLSS tomorrow as well between the hours of 2 and 5 Pacific Standard Time at twitch.tv slash northernlion. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.